hurricane. There you go. Hey, Good. we're recording. Good. Vincent says he isn't going to be able to be here. So I said, who's going to tell us that we, we are recording? Are we recording? Apparently Susan is. Honey. We still haven't decided, made plans exactly what we're going to do about. Um, now what happens if we don't click on got it? Try it. <laughs> Find out what happens to you. Well, well, I think, you're you're, you're drafted in think, Russia. I think that screen stays there. Yeah. You're drafted okay. to well, Russia. Maybe it has to be a unanimous decision. <laughs> oh. Carl's up first, right? Carl. decision to leave the meeting. I can go in Karen's, any order you want me to. Karen's first going up good. first. I, I, I noticed Karen's going up first. Okay. Thank Karen. You. I got to make Hi. the wins. I make them in that order. Thank you. Okay, so let's put... I'm really kind of sad, though, to, to say this, but... Um, the first is Karen, Kevin, and Carl, the three K's, KKK. This is <laughs> oh. not there. I'm sure that it means nothing. Perfectly normal. Nothing so we have the, so this is the KKK edition? Yeah, uh, I guess. I was very happy to see that Mike. I, I dare you just to describe them as strikeouts. What? It'll be fine. Uh, well, that's true. I dare you, I dare to use that as a title for the YouTube video. No, 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 no. I'm sure we get a lot of views and some monetization and some other things might happen to us. I, I would be perfectly happy to uh, if Boy, KKK that. stood for those three people. Strikeouts. You, you, you'd get a thumbs up from the real President Trump. There's a comedian <laughs> musician, Mike Noon, who had a song about organizations with letter for their name. I can't remember the exact words, but it's something like one part of it was you can blow your mind on PCP or join the AMA, but to join the KKK, you have to have a low IQ. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard that somewhere. You ever right. hear the Alan Sherman song? It's all initials. Alan, Jamie, Jamie, Jamie. Yeah. I don't think I've heard that one. About this couple. I know who Alan Sherman is. That's though. good. Okay. Alan yeah, Sherman was great. great. He's a one. Harvey and I Sheila. Alan Sherman. My mom had that, uh, some of his albums. Comedy albums were very popular when I was a yeah. uh, yeah. little My son, the nut. It was called uh, Harvey and Sheila, and it told about all the things they did, all the organizations they joined, and it, it was all initials. It was really funny. Harvey and Sheila, that was it. Okay, so I hope you guys have got your categories. I mean, your team names, you've been working on them all week because I always look forward to the Okay, let me make sure I have that because we're counted. Let me see. Who have I been putting them with last time? I spy with my little eye. Um, while you're doing that, may I ask something to the group? You just did. <laughs> <laughs> may, I ask, may I ask a third when thing question, to the group? Karen? You okay. use it. <laughs> may I ask a third thing to the group? Go for it. Um, so I made a Word document and a Google Doc, <laughs> and I forgot which one is best for cutting and pasting. Mm. I think they're the same. Mm. One yeah. holds a See, format okay. and one screws up the format. It doesn't something. I always cut and paste from Word. And I don't have any problems, but your mileage may vary. But you have to manually put in the your number yeah. for your question. Okay. I, from will Word. The, I will do the Word and I'm ready. Actually, when I cut and paste number. from Word, it pulls the numbers automatically. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. OK. Well, Could be because I have them numbered in a different way. Could be. But I, I have an auto numbering format. She's out of questions. That was three she's asked tonight. That's, that's like. All right. Now you have to give the genie lamp to someone else. <laughs> okay. So there's going to be a bunch more people joining us. So just if you have only a few people in your room, don't panic. It'll, it'll change as it always does. Hey Susan, yes, guess sir. what? What? Guess what? Uh, I'm not going to mention what's going on. Are 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 we recording? It's entirely possible. <laughs> Don't tell uh, anybody. What he was looking for was for you to say chicken butt. 
Yeah. Hey, Susan, what did we decide about the, the bonus questions? Did we decide we're 86ing those? Yeah, I'll make an announcement. Although, you know, having one, then I just didn't wish to have one oh, really hard I, question. I left the room. It left the whole game. Is all the rest are easy. Chicken butt. Here comes Deborah's going to be here in about half an hour, and Paula says she'll be here in about 45 minutes. Okay. Are they doing, are they doing, uh, categories? Who's doing categories tonight? Kevin, Carl, Kyle. Wait, it's three K's. Jamie, Aaron, Kevin, Carl. Karen. Okay, wait, wait. Karen, Kevin, Carl, you, Mike. Yeah, I have it done. I didn't. I didn't fake it out this week. I didn't blow it off this week. <laughs> Who's doing the bonus? It's KKKMJ. Ooh, that sounds like a good band. It's a boy band. Oh, here comes Ben. We haven't seen yeah. Ben in ages. Well, he wasn't here last week. He was here the week before that. No, it's been a while, hasn't it? It's been a, like two weeks. Oh, I thought it's been a while. Oh. Carl. Kyle's back. Okay, Kyle, you're on team four. Do you need to go to your team? Yeah, they're already back. Okay, never mind. Ben. <coughs> Where am I going to put Benjamin? Oh, I can't put him there. They'll just fight. Somewhere awesome. <laughs> what? Who am I going to fight with? Um, no, they're already back. I could put him there. That might be interesting. Let me see. Or that. That would be interesting, too. I'll put you there. <laughs> That way you can go say hello at least. Yeah. I feel bad about your raccoons. You feel bad about my raccoons? Yeah, because those were fun when I was thinking of them as like these domesticated wild animals. <laughs> they didn't bother you very much, but it must have really been bothering you. Well, the last time it did, because they've never gone into my kitchen before. And this time they went all the way down into my kitchen. And my cats were sitting there staring at him going. <sighs> and the raccoons are kind of like directing traffic, like, oh, whatever they are. And they, they looked at my cats like, whatever. And it's like, keep going down to the end. Down to the end. <laughs> it was like, you can just feel it. And, and he saw the picture, the video of my poor cat trying to get out of the new thing and his little legs are laying there and he's like trying to get out his feet will go 14 and we just laugh well we put we put painter tape so he doesn't slide but poor little guy oh my gosh poor, poor, poor. look i got a brand new hat today it's adorable i had an owl hat before and i lost it. i wore it everywhere mark saw it at the store he went to the grocery store he says i took a picture of this owl hat for you and i'm like why didn't you just buy it? Well, I don't know. I didn't know if you'd really want it. So I went all the way and got it just about half an hour ago. And I went in and picked up a pizza. And they all turned and looked at me like, what is going on with that lady? <laughs> well, it's Halloween. Heather and I went to a thrift shop. Um, oh, I didn't think about Halloween. On, on oh, well, Every day is Halloween for me. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> um, they, um, and we went to a thrift shop. And it's a big one. And it, it um and they had everything, like all of their fancy, like really dress up clothes that people were coming in to buy for Halloween costumes. We were there actually for our wardrobe, but oh. <laughs> other people were coming in to get Halloween people, costumes. People were buying clothes. I guess we are starting to go out in public now. Mark says, You need the hat, you need to get that hat so you can wear it to psych on. I'm like, oh don't you okay. have all your old hats? I have a zillion hats. Yeah, I have another zillion. I have a zillion and one hats now. Yeah, I loved your hats. <laughs> I have a lot of fun with hats. I don't know why, but never was a hat. Well, maybe it was. I don't know. Yeah, we'll see. We well, shall. I'm, see. I'm gonna close. I, this hmm? I missed your story about the raccoons, but we were at a friend's of ours a couple of weeks ago, and he's got a family of raccoons sitting under his deck. 
So they came up and they were feeding there. We were watching. They're four really cute ones. Oh, and yeah, then cute. Yeah. four more of them came around the side, a different family. And they just had a stare off mm. at each other. And then an opossum that was living somewhere in the area popped up onto his deck in between the two of them. In the meantime, his cats are running in and out of the house because he leaves the house open. I'm, he has had the, uh, the, them come into the house, too. They're really, really cute. And these are all fairly small. I don't know if any of them were the parents because I've seen parents and they're big. Oh, yeah. Ours were big. But he feeds them, which is, oh, no, no. I don't which have is really, really dumb. But yeah. we tried to explain that to him. He won't listen to us. Well, let him have them. I could ship mine out or no, now our cats are no. So we had a food, we had a door that was just anybody could come in and out. And so right. now I have the chip enhanced door. Finally went and did that. So that's what it was, is that now we do no longer have raccoons coming to visit. Or if they do, they're just walking by. They can't come in now. So I'm yeah, really he lets his sorry. cats go in and out. So yeah. Hmm? Raccoons I'm come sorry, through. Susan. What, Janine? That you don't have raccoons? Oh, this I know. I, I don't have a. I don't have. About, we've been talking about how to get rid of cats, and we haven't figured that out yet. <laughs> but <laughs> this is what this is what um, uh, uh, Gail a raccoon. Gail, Gail sent me this. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Janine, Janine, Janine. That's there's even that's better happening. to get rid of. That will even do better getting rid of. I don't of want that in my house. <laughs> and Rob had it. When Rob was in Florida, I remember him sending us a, a he was, in, he had a, you were staying at a and b or something. It had a swimming pool and it was all, uh, you could see like there was a water out right past it and it was all gated off not gated off but uh like, gated <laughs> off gated. Gated. yeah gated and i thought oh my there. gosh why is why is there walls in the swimming pool thing and <laughs> because yeah. Alec, there's my walk yeah. Yeah. getting your swimming pool i thought oh i would yeah never and we went that. we went for a drive and less than a two minute drive away there was a bigger lake and there were gators swimming in it so yeah no, thank you. No, thank you at all. No, that's scary. Okay, so here we are. At least I am. I think we closed the rooms, right? <coughs> okay, cool. So we'll have a few more people joining us in a few minutes. We had some changes, uh, and I'll announce them again a little later. Uh, to the to the way we're going to run the game, we 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 decided on this. We decided this last <laughs> week after half of you guys left. So we're going to try these things to help speed up the game a little bit and make it a little more interesting. One thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little less true and false. True and false still is okay, but we're gonna to tone it down a little bit because it becomes a 50-50 chance. But just be, just be aware if you're writing a category and it's true and false. The second thing we're gonna do is if you're doing a mystery category, one of the questions that you get a point for should not be what is the mystery, the category? Because obviously, you probably have the category, otherwise you wouldn't have come up with the answer. So that should just be like, figure that's out what the, the category is. When you yeah. figure it out, that's a hint for all the others. So it helps right, right. Solve. It helps you get the other questions. So it shouldn't make, it shouldn't be a point. That would be <coughs> 10 questions. And the last one is we're removing the bonus question, the question. So we don't that's have a lot of round questions. bonus questions. Yeah, we still have our bonus category, bonus round, but the bonus question. So so 10 questions per round period right so so when you're writing your your categories try to pick 10 what? and we used to we were we what? got into 11 and then we were getting into 12 and it was because people were finding what? either they thought it was too hard so they had to throw in a bonus question what? or they thought it was they thought oh i have an extra question left over so we were just kind of just throwing them in and so the reason why i'm saying let's just keep it to 10 is if you feel like it's just too hard and you have to have an 11th question, we'll just take out one of the hard questions and put the one you were going to use as a bonus in or something. You forgot so, the fourth point or are you getting to it? No. <laughs> Peggy. Uh, the moratorium on Billy Joel, right? Peggy. <laughs> Peggy. Peggy. I, to talk about I have to apologize for my Billy Joel rant. It was totally out of line. And I'm no, sorry. no, it's okay. But I wrote a question and two weeks ago. People, so you don't people know. should make questions about anything they want. 
And I just sort of snapped on the Billy Joel last week, but there is <laughs> but no right, reason though. to not have Billy Joel questions. No, no, you were right. It was it was me oh, and these. Rob back to back that killed you. That's what it did. It. No, there's, no. There's, what did Peggy, Peggy, Peggy did pintons? Can you tell everybody about your pin? I, I got up the next morning and I felt bad. And so I turned on Pandora radio and I asked for the Billy Joel channel. Oh, and I did think? time with Billy and his friends, you know, how Pandora is. And, yeah. um, it was, you know, it was enlightening. I also read his Wikipedia page. <laughs> and, and, and for how long did your ears bleed? Um, oh. well, and now you're ready for Billy Joel questions. And no, you're no, I, I didn't spend that much that, research huh? time. No, 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 I'm not ready. Um, but I did, I did explore the the idea, the ideas about why I don't, I'm not a big fan, and I've researched are other people not big fans? And you know what people say mostly, and what what the write ups that I did see, they say all oh, Billy Joel sucks, and then they and then they can't describe why. They can't say why. There's nothing wrong with Billy Joel. You Some people just don't like him. That's all. It's an yeah. East Coast, some West Coast don't thing, even know too. Who he is. It's an East Coast, West Coast thing, too. <laughs> He's really popular in New York, Boston, and the East Coast, and yes. not so popular in California. And some ah. people just take pride in disliking things that other people like. Yeah, some people don't like Wordle. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, but they're right. <laughs> yeah, that's that's right. something they're you right. should put a Sing. moratorium on that. They're, they're right. But uh, that was rich. That, that, was, was, that, go fast that was really good. That was really good. That was good. That was good. Well, I, I commend I commend Peggy for for coming to you all and admitting this. Thank on, you, Peggy. On video. Man culpa. Man as culpa. recording. So I have to warn you, powerful. I wrote my questions two weeks ago. So one might have it might have snuck in there. Might have snuck one in there. My last Peggy, one for a while. You know, at least it won't be you losing it. You, you lose it in a very polite right, and friendly manner. <laughs> Thank you. I think that I think it's I think it's hilarious. So we'll we'll uh keep playing around with this as we go. I think that I think 10 questions is good. So anyway. Let's get to our team names. That's always one of my favorite parts. What is it that you guys have selected to be your team names for this week? This is the week that uh, we will never have ever again. It's game 127 on the 29th of September, season three, episode 18. So we have our first team, the team that is first, the first off the bat, which is Bob, Cindy, Karen, and Leonard at the moment. So I'm curious, what team name have you guys come up with? All right, go. Curse you, Ian. Mar-a-Lago still stands. Oh, I hadn't even thought of that. Ooh, I, yeah. Oh, Mar-a-Lago. Well, somebody's going to have to get it. I keep thinking like the Ku Klux Klan. You know how they had a, how these people take it over? You know, they, they won it. Some property and stuff like that. And I keep thinking, who's going to get to take his property? Who's going to be the new owner of well, The only real part of Florida is Mar-a-Lago in. It's Miami Beach. Oh, oh! Yeah. I was down there last week. I almost went over to get a picture of Mar-a-Lago, but didn't get there. Oh, Ron, really? Why? Why didn't I, or why would I? Yeah, why would you? <laughs> <laughs> and I thought it was on the west coast of Florida. I know it's on the east. We don't have an opportunity to mention that group again tonight. It's been mentioned like four times. What? <laughs> <laughs> Well, you're going to hear a lot of it tonight because we're playing. All I right, I think Rob, we need to change my team no, name to KKK. Oh, 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 that one. Sorry. Yes, we, ben. Oh, yeah, I want to change KKK. our team name to I'm gone a week and I miss all the fun. Oh, you can't miss the fun. There's a video. You can go watch it. I need to because apparently some stuff went down last week. Oh, what? No, we just discussed rules. That's all. We just talked Wait, about no, you we, for an we, hour. We, we did well, record we we turned off the video so you can't we? hear it. I think we recorded that. Yes. <laughs> so Rob, Susie, Zeke, and Kevin, what is your team name? Putin, have you considered annexing St. Petersburg, Florida? <laughs> <laughs> I sense a theme. Okay. Caspian, Carl, Wendy. Is that us all? Is that all I have on your team right now? Yeah. We are the salacious sound of succulent <laughs> sausages. Yes, Who's that's making that's sausages true. right now? As far as I know, nobody. You just dream of sausages being no, succulently. The sausages no. have already been made. Yeah, Caspian was cooking his dinner. 
that's what I thought. Somebody must be eating sausages. The salacious sound of succulent sausages. Okay. Sausages. Okay. And Jane, Ka Carl, no, Jane, Kyle, Mike, and Ron. Jackie, are you here? Where's Jackie? Jackie. Jackie. Oh, Jackie. Hi. Jackie, are you here? Hi. Jackie, would you like to go for walkies? <laughs> that's, Is there that's anybody Wendy's who understands puppy. this one? <laughs> that's yeah. Wendy's puppy. <clears throat> No. No. Is there some other reference besides to Wendy's puppy? Um, this is uh, Joe, Joe Biden's, Biden's gaff earlier this week where he oh. was thanking everybody and he was thanking uh, uh, Jackie uh, Walarski, except that she's been dead since last summer. Oh, yeah. I, don't, I, that, I didn't know the woman's she, name. Right past me. I didn't I know. Just heard, I just heard that it was, he was calling out somebody saying, oh, is so and so here? And, the, and they had died. Yeah. Well, now we know it's Wendy's puppies, dog. Yes, yeah. except they're still alive. Say hello. Well, Wendy, did you name your puppy after after this uh, mythical person? No, he's named after Jackie Chan. Oh, that's he's, uh, he's a Shih Tzu. He's a, a Chinese dog, so I gave him a Chinese <laughs> name. Oh, okay. So Alan, Jamie, Janine, Peggy, and Ben. When Russia panics, it will annex. Mm. There is some scary stuff going on over there. I've been listening to a lot of first hand accounts. It's kind of like, oh, tit, 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 tit. All right, look at we're welcoming. Guess who's here? Self help is here. Our Welsh, our Welsh is on mute, and she's talking to us like we can hear her. Hi, Robin, my roomie. She's gonna how, be many, how many people you're squeezing into your room there? All of us. Well, yeah, <laughs> every party. Yeah. <laughs> My room has always been the party room. Yes, Wendy. We're looking are, forward. Hey, yes, I got to find a room to have, a to have hang out and party. That's where we gossip. So if you guys want to hear the gossip, you got to go to somebody's room that is like, so I guess it's going to be party central, Solomon, baby. And, and yeah, well, if you want to come over and have some sangria, you're totally welcome. Okay, so I like that whiskey that's got like a fire whiskey. Um, Jay ooh. spies it. That stuff? That cinnamon like, stuff? Ooh, yes, ooh, ooh. I like that. I like that. So just Fireball. saying, just saying <laughs> I, don't, I don't normally drink, but that I will drink. No, yeah. no. <laughs> that's like Jägermeister. That is like. <laughs> There's nothing like Jägermeister. <laughs> hey, Jay, will, when he comes over to visit, and we're having a party or something, he'll bring me a little bit of that. So I will I will do that. So here we are tonight. Tonight, my folks. Ooh, 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 get it? You, okay, never mind. Uh, we have five teams that are ready to rile it up, to really, really mess it up and see who will be the winner of tonight's game. Game number 127 here on the 29th of September, 2022. Ooh. Will be the winner tonight. How long until that gets old? Too late. <laughs> and our leaders tonight are Karen, Kevin, Carl, Mike Wordy, and Jamie. Mike Wordle. I'm sorry, Mike Wordle. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway. And Mike's volunteering for something. Yeah, I think so. No, it's the wrong, the wrong hand. Okay. So Kevin, Karen has already got her permissions. Oh, the team names that are playing together. I'm sorry, I have to read them all off at once. So the teams tonight who are vying for a position to be the winner of the game of 127, the challenges, the 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 intricacies, the the all you guys have been doing in the past. <laughs> have been reworded. The people who were on the teams last time and the time before, the alliances you've made are worth nothing. Oh, here comes Vincent, he's coming in. Your alliances you've made in the past mean nothing because today it's gonna get dirty. <laughs> <laughs> Curse you, Ian, mar lago still stands versus Putin. Have you considered annexing St. Petersburg, Florida versus the salacious sound of succulent sausages versus Jackie. Oh, here comes Kevin again. Jackie, are you here? Where's Jackie? 
versus when Russia panics, it will annex. So, and hello, Vincent. I didn't think you're gonna make Hi. Uh, the other group that I, there, the person is very, very late. So, and it's like, well, too freaking bad. Yeah. Should we tell Vincent he's being recorded? <laughs> oh, I kind of knew that. <laughs> you kind of did. Okay, so here we go. I'm putting you on your. Oh, we can't go in our rooms, right? There's nothing to discuss, is there? No. <laughs> Hi, right, everybody. Go to your Lord, rooms. Forever. Get us all the... That's what we're going to do. We're going to use our psychic powers to know what Karen has got for us tonight. <laughs> don't, forget to, don't forget to put me in a room. Yes, sir. I sure will. You're not the I... only one that joined late. I thought psychic powers had to do with um, making uh, papers un secure oh, super secure classified, yeah. classified. Classified. Yeah. classifying them which yeah. is really yeah. odd because yeah, biden probably could just it. use his mind powers and class yeah again yeah what, what the hell this guy is did, did, did you see that jump jim under down posted <clears throat> the cfi challenge <laughs> oh. <laughs> for trump oh that's funny but i don't know how would you know they were declassified if he said that's a good question. papers all of a sudden have the declassification that's right on. it just gets the declassification stamp and, and in, in computers of all the appropriate classifying agencies it says that those papers are unclassified oh yeah ready. all of a sudden they would immediately yep. get a little thing saying yep all right karen what do you got for us tonight yes okay well uh thank you for doing uh women first uh, i'm the only woman doing a category tonight and uh, let me tell you, as far as we know, ba 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 ba, boom boom boom, cut, Karen cut. The category is not just to Robin, but to everyone in meeting. Birds. Lady parts. Lady parts. <laughs> the category is lady parts. Okay, that's different. All right, so uh, I guess. By the way, I don't know if you know, Karen, but I have been told that the term lady is now politically incorrect, just so you know. I am a woman and I will decide how I want to be called, what I referred. I don't mind lady, woman, parts. thick, broad. Uh, I own them all. I am woman, hear me roar, and it's just all warning cool you. with me. What about chick? <laughs> okay, what, what was it? What about chick? Yeah. Okay, she's a hip chick. All good. Let's bring it on. I don't want to be broad. I don't like that one. <laughs> I like broad. Not too. after all the weeks I've been eating candy. Would you rather oh. be narrow? The <laughs> uh, editors, the writers and editors of the online magazine Entertainment Weekly selected and ranked the 25 greatest best actress Oscar winners of all time. They considered all of the individuals who have received that recognition from 1929 through 2015. Okay, so your no answer uh, will be. Oh, this is mean, I'm not going to be about parts of the body. And so, um, okay, cut. Here we go. So I chose 10 from those 25. So you are going to match the, <clears throat> you're going to match, you're going to get a list of films uh, and you're going to match those films to the 10 Oscar winners and their lady parts. Uh, none will be used twice. I did not necessarily place things in chronological order, but state your answers, the number first and then the le letter, please, such as an example, 13 is Q or 13 Q. You may be thinking, usually lady parts ought to come first, yet in this case, it is not a requisite. <laughs> okay, so we are going to move on. The films, here is the list of films numbered one through 10 because there are only 10 answers. we so, got the muting powers tonight. Yeah, I'm I like fine. Everybody, everybody doing okay. their thing. We're adults. Okay. So, oh, the films, we're changing that number rule? one, okay. and I will share these. Number one is It Happened One Night. Two is Jezebel. It's all written here. Three is Gaslight. Four is Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? Five is Clute, six is Cabaret, seven is Terms of Endearment, eight is Misery, nine is Fargo, and 10 is Boys Don't Cry. So those are the films you'll do, you know, number one is such and so letter. Now for the letters, there are more, <coughs> than, there are more than the number of 
one, there are more than 10. So here you have the letters and the letters are. That is so evil. Oh, wait, I'm not muted. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Let me make sure I got the title in there. Oscar winners and their lady parts. Okay, there we go. Okay, so for that, the choices are, there are four too many. Kate Blanchett and ja as Jasmine, Hilary Swank as Brandon Tina, Liza Minnelli as Sally Bowles, Elizabeth Taylor as Martha, Diane Keaton as Annie, Frances McDormand as Marge Gunderson, Ingrid Bergman as Paula Alquist, uh, Meryl Streep as Sophie uh, Zawistowski, Claudette Colbert as Ellie Andrews, Betty Davis as Julie Marston, Jane Fonda as Bree Daniels, Shirley MacLaine as Aurora Greenway, Kathy Bates as Annie Wilkes, and Julianne Moore as Alice Howland. Do you have any questions about what you're going to be doing? I thought it was going to be about lady parts. <laughs> <laughs> well, these are the lady parts. I know, but this is too clever. I, okay. I thought it was going to be like, it's go. just opportunity for another category. <laughs> yeah, away, I guess so. Away you go, dear ones. It's, All right. This is great, Karen. It is clever. All right. <laughs> you guys might need to share screens. I think it'll be easier. Okay, let me put you guys on your rooms that aren't getting notification. So... I, I got to go it. back into Jackie. Are you here? Where's Jackie? Okay. Vincent's going to three. Uh, Kyle is going to go to four. Kevin, you are in two. And Miss Robin, you are going to go into two. Okay. Have fun. I will meet you over where I meet you. I'm going to win. Okay. Listen, you're so funny. You're a real hoot. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. You've been waiting for that. I'm glad we recorded it. Thank you. Very much. <laughs> Just about got them all. Hello, team. I'm on your team. Hello, Susan. Ooh. 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 Karen just said, Susan, you're a real hoot. Okay, I think. Okay. <laughs> I think you should, somebody should share the screen because uh, we're documenting because it's going to be really hard to. Cindy uh, said oh, she yeah, let me, do uh, do oh, it. Doing it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I forgot to. Cindy has offered to perform that service. Okay. Okay, so let me think. Have I seen any of these movies? Okay. Yes, we've all oh, seen. Um, yeah. yeah, they're yeah, all I, I, I heard I pretty I popular. I think I know. I think I know them all, but go ahead and then I'll so Bob, Bob thinks he's got it nailed. Yeah. All right. So number one, what is the movie? It happened one night. L. Claudette Colbert. No, wait, not L. Um, uh, uh, I. Sorry, I. Claudette Colbert. Oh, okay. Or it happened yeah. one night. Yeah. So that's I, the letter I? Yeah, the letter I, yeah. Okay. And you think Jezebel, Jezebel. is J? Yeah, because that's yeah. Betty Davis. There's Betty Davis, yeah. Okay. It was okay. like an it was like an audition for Gone with the Wind. And I think yeah, who was who was gas who was gaslight? That's um that was, was the British actress with the blonde hair. Ingrid Burton. No, the Ingrid other Bird. woman. No, no, I don't know. Ingrid. No, it was um Ingrid Bergman. Yeah, she was, yeah, Ingrid Bergman, yeah. But but the British actress blonde here was the maid. So Ingrid Bergman is the correct answer for gas. Yeah, action. she. Okay. Yeah. yeah, she, yeah. I, forget, I forgot she was in that movie because I think of um, mm -hmm. Angela Lansbury, that movie. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, you know, is, I don't um, recognize any of these women's names as their characters. Isn't that interesting? Who's afraid of yeah, I don't know their character. Yeah, I forgot what their characters yeah. are too. Um, okay. D Four, is D. Yep, yeah, that's D. Elizabeth yep. Taylor was uh, in a Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? Yeah, Clint's Jane Fonda, but I forgot what letter she is. Well, just scroll down. I mean, I am, but K. K. Uh, yeah, Jane Fonda. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, the James Have Bond was in there. Was that Shirley I never McLean? actually saw it. Yeah. Times yeah. of Endearment, that's Shirley McLean. Yeah. Yeah. Or Terms yeah. of Endearment, Shirley McLean. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Who did Cabaret? Cabaret with Eliza Minnelli. It's Eliza Minnelli, yeah. Sally Bowles. Sally Bowles. Terms of Endearment. It's Shirley McLean, L. Okay, so Misery. Kathy Bates, M. Yep. Oh, I and knew that one. does sound familiar. Fargo? Francis, F. Francis, Francis McDermott. McDermott. Well, you yep. guys are good at that. McDermott. McDermott. Yep. I McDermott. Was yeah. so she played Marge. And Boy So Hot, um, Hillary Swank? No? Yep, Is Hillary that... Swank, B. Yeah, Hillary Swank, B. I think that's it. God, that's, no, that's what I did. Yeah, I forgot. I'm yeah. the other actress whose name I can't pronounce. <laughs> well, good job, team. All I did was copy and paste what you told me. So we don't yeah. have an H okay. for uh, um, for Meryl Streep and Sophie's Choice. Right, yeah. because um, remember she said there's going to be more answers than questions. Yeah, no, I understand. But, it, yeah. but that one's so easy because the first name is Sophie. Sophie, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Julianne Moore is Alice Howland. Anybody remember that movie? I'm just curious now about what which movie. Uh, right. Julianne Moore is Alice Howland, which was no, uh, I don't remember that character's name. I don't. Yeah. Nope. And don't that, 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 oh, Diane Keaton as Annie. That's yeah. Annie Hall. Annie right. Hall. Right. And uh, um, Kate Blanchett. Kate Blanchett as Jasmine. Which was that one? I don't remember. Don't know. Yeah. No, but then, yeah, those are the ones. Well, you guys yep. did really good. Yeah. All right, good job, team. Cool. I knew about eight of them without the list. Yeah. I did no help except copy and paste the answers into the spreadsheet. My team, my team kicked ass. They all knew theirs. They knew. Theirs. Yeah, so, our, our team was good, too. That's like one of my all-time favorite films. So we can count on Susan's lack of ability with cut and paste to give us a shot on this one. Yeah, yeah. unfortunately. So which one, Carl, did you say is your favorite? I, uh, Gaslight has always been one of my favorite films. Oh, I've seen it once. Andrew and I, Bergman, I, Charles Boyer, Joseph Cotton. Yeah, I would not oh, have Angela Lansbury. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Angela, a very young Angela Lansbury. Yeah, she played that. The evil maid. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Are we all oh, no. Good yeah. job, Karen. That was that was that was clever. Are we here? We you you. You yeah. Okay. Okay. Wonderful. So um, I expect uh, I, I I I expect you all to do very well. So here we go. Uh, so number one, of course, was one was. I, it happened one night, Claudette Kilbert. And then two, you know, we've got these older films. These are wonderful performances. You should, um, you should check them out. Uh, we have number two was Jay Jezebel. And number six, and then number three was G, um, Gas, you know, Gaslight was Ingrid Bergman in that role. If you have not seen that, you should. And four was D, Elizabeth Taylor, who's afraid of Virginia Woolf. Fabulous performances all around. Sandy Dennis gives a stellar performance there as well. Um, five is K, uh, Clute, Jane Fonda. That was 1971. Uh, Donald Sutherland uh, is, the, is the lead in that. And then Jane Fonda plays Bree Daniels. And then Cabaret, Liza Minnelli, you know, who's, Sally Bowles is usually a sweet little blonde thing. Um, Liza Minnelli kicked total ass in that role. Um, seven is L, Terms of Endearment, 1983, with Shirley, Mac Shirley MacLaine playing Aurora uh, Greenway, acting with uh, Jack Nicholson. Eight is M, Misery, 1990, Kathy Bates is Annie Wilkes. Uh, some of you are noticing a pattern here. If you didn't know what the uh, roles were, 
I was trying to give some help and hints there. Nine was F Fargo, 1996. Yes, I didn't notice since I don't know what you're talking about. about I have no idea what she's talking about. Yeah, how come four and seven didn't follow the pattern? And number, because they just didn't happen to start with a letter that was, yeah. I, I didn't choose the films to go with the letters. I just oh. did it after the fact. <laughs> Um, oh, 10 yeah. is B, Boys Don't Cry, 1999, with Hilary Swank as, as Oh, Regina. I see. You so they are, are um, they actually are, any of them whose films start with a letter, the letter was the answer, and also oh. they are in chronological order. Um, and then the ones that you may notice, uh, the ones you knew probably, but were the, the extra lady parts that were included, were um, all films where the the character's name is part is part of the title of the film? It, you don't get points for this, but Kate Kate Blanchett was uh, Jasmine in Blue Jasmine in 2013. Diane Keaton was Annie in Annie Hall 1977. Meryl Streep was uh, Sophie in Sophie's Choice 1982, and mm -hmm. Julianne Moore as Alice Howland Howland in Still Alice. Uh, brilliant performance in 2014. And I will give you the link in case you want to go, um, you know, read any of these things. Well, that's really clever. Yeah. Cass must be educating me on stuff. Yeah. So he's got to pick out one yeah. and bring it over. Good one category. Of, Very good. And, and I want to I... say something before the, before the scores come out. You know, talking about scoring, um, you know, as a single person, I love nothing more than a brilliant mind. But if someone also knows their lady, the lady parts, that's a bonus. Yeah. <laughs> one, one of my first games, Karen did a category about bees. And the one, and if it was multiple choice, the answer was B. I thought, <laughs> oh, that? I do remember that. <laughs> <laughs> you got to remember. And I like people that pay attention. That is very good. <laughs> Why? Very good. Scores. Okay, scores. Let's go with Jackie. Are you here? Where's Jackie? That must have been really embarrassing. Yeah. We got 10. Yeah, 10. 10. Okay. Putin, have you considered annexing St. Petersburg? Eight. <laughs> 10? Eight. Oh, eight. Okay. The salacious sound of succulent sausages. 10. When Russia panics, it will annex. I like puns. We got 10. And last but not least, curse you, Ian. Curse you, Ian. Mar-a-Lago still vans. Ten. Well, guess who just won? Deborah. <laughs> yes. Yes. We Good planned strategy. it that way. Good strategy. Nice strategy, Bob. Great strategy, you guys. That was brilliant. So, Deborah, you've just been picked up by the team called Putin. Have you considered annexing St. Petersburg, Florida? <laughs> um. They're playing the long game. Can I? That's why they got it. Yes, Vincent. Something. Um, I was thinking very heavily on being a, a representative of this group and actually going to the wake of Larry Williams. Ooh. Would you like that? If nobody says anything, I'm not going to go then. Well, what do you mean? Of course, go. You should go. Of course. Because then oh, yeah. I, well, no, I would only go if I'm going to show them anything from here or anything like that. What do you mean, show them? Show them, like. Oh, uh, the, the group pictures? The isn't tribute. it too late? Is, isn't it already over? He's been gone no, for a couple no, weeks. No, no, it's, it's in October. Vincent, you don't oh. have to show anything. Showing up is the best part and please do what a wonderful compassionate gesture yeah that would be really nice and you do, and do tell it. them do tell his family that we all are yeah we it. all yeah bring a screenshot well, with him in it yeah that's because you're gonna thing. go in person it's, right it's not yeah. a virtual i would go right? i would go in person yes i'm very very nervous about <laughs> I think it's a wonderful thing, and I think it would be a strong thing for you to do. That would that would that would be very sweet of you, Vincent. We, uh, I'm so sure, we're all, well, I'm sure we would all appreciate it. So kind. So or we, we could all we could take a picture with everybody holding up the name Larry in the picture. 
And we Al? should all change our name to Larry. But yeah, Larry, tonight we could do that for the picture tonight. Larry, we Larry, we miss you. Yeah, yeah, name. exactly. Aww. Let's do that for the picture tonight. That's Larry, a great idea. We, or or um or I'm I'm starting to tear up. I'm sorry. Um, um so um um uh, so I I will I will go very, very scared. <laughs> Thank you for your um, thank you for your support. Um, yeah. Now, believe me, the last thing his family is worried about is too many people coming to the wake. Right. Yeah. They, they, to see anyone who's there to show up. You know and when what? will this be? When will it be? Um, October eighth. And Vincent, do uh, you need do you need some ex someone to be there for you, like on a phone call or check in before or after? Because I heard you say that this is a big deal for you. Do you oh, need yeah. someone to be there for you? It's it's huge. It's it's huge for me to go. I'm hoping that it's just the wait. I'm hoping that um, that there it's not a funeral. Uh, they they were fairly specific on the website that it was like tea and coffee and all that would be served it'd probably it's, be just like a mingle it. thing the calgary yeah yeah calgary or remembrance is, or something yeah calgary is very very large it's a, it's a huge huge city and it's all the way on the other side of the city from where i live uh -huh. so it's a very special special trip so if you guys want me to go then i will go but Again, I would need something like on my phone or something, pictures or or something like a video or something. I don't the, know. The picture, the picture. I, th I think the picture with our names. Voice. How about yeah. we might not be ready to hear We can voice. take a they, picture with yeah. our names on it and then just have it printed. Oh yeah, have That's it a, have it printed. Yeah, I can I can do that. It'd be yeah. easier for you to do in Calgary to to just take the picture and and send it to whatever your equivalent of a store is and just yeah they have like CBS, a multi by seven Walgreens or something and just bring it to them and say I wanted to bring this to you from our trivia team and you know no I've got it. I've got um I've got paper here and a printer that will, will there you go it. there you go. So, yeah, That's right. Shy, got that shopper's drug mart or something like that. Those, those, I would like to Re Re Rexall. Yeah, I'd like to suggest that we change our names to Larry. We miss you, Dash Kevin Marker, or whatever your name is. You I don't think mean? we can fit that on our screens. <laughs> but Kevin, no. if, you, if you print it out, it's not gonna. No. It's not gonna oh go. yeah, it's not gonna have our names on it whenever it prints. Or, or, we, or it. we miss Larry. I think just I think if he just goes and explains to him. Yeah, and from his that's fine. Group, yeah, you're right. They yeah, all right. said. Just a, just a, yeah, you don't want to have to, too complicated is overdoing it. Yeah, all you're going to do is just go in and say, you know, I'm here from our trivia team and and we just wanted to say, you know, as a group. And every, everyone people, said, everyone sent their 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 best wishes. Yeah, over, we're, we're really sad to see. Well, Susan, and and you that's take all those, you have to say and, they'll, and that's it. Hmm? You take those screenshots every week we do it. You must have one with Larry in it. Oh, absolutely. Just send oh, yeah. it to him. Send one of those well, screenshots. I, I went through the, um, I put on the, um, they had a, what's that called? A uh, remembrance page. Yeah. And the family was, you know, other people were writing things. And I went on there and I put, I put a blurb and then I also put the link to the video, uh, the playlist. And I said, I know you don't want to look at this now, but I just want you guys to be aware this exists if you want to at, you know, happier times when we didn't know that we were about to lose Larry. And it's, you know, the, I put, he played from this game to this game and I put the, you know, the numbers and I said, right. It's just random people. I mean, it's just like random. Who knows? I don't know what you'll find, but he's, he's if, there are there. moments. If you watch it, there are moments when he'll crack a joke or something. The family will really appreciate that. Right. And, but I have no idea which video it would be, mm -hmm. which one to watch. It's just, if somebody wanted, if somebody in his family did want to watch them, they could and have a chuckle. I personally would have loved to have something like that on my dad, especially the randomness of it, not knowing what, what it was going to be. 
So I especially think I, when he was on your team, Susan, because <laughs> the camera followed you around. Yeah. So if he was on your team in the rooms, that would be a good one that would have a lot of interaction. It would have been. So so when you go, Vincent, don't overthink this. I really think what it's going to be is, hi, my name is Vincent. I'm on the Thursday night trivia team and we and I'm the representative for the group, but we really want to just tell you how how sorry we are and how much um, and that's and you couldn't even have to finish the sentence and that will be enough. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, pictures okay. are huge. When my partner died, I I spent months looking at pictures. Just and I have a whole, you know, like a, a Wait, list of my camera. Do you want to go see Daddy? I think it was a <laughs> big deal. Listen to Janine. Talk, my dog's going nuts. I'm sorry. I thought I was on uh, mute. She goes, Do you want to go see no. Daddy? And I'm thinking, hmm, what's going on over there? And that's <laughs> what the that's what the dog knows. <laughs> I'm like, uh, what's about to go is, down is over that there? Trash? It's Jasper. Her, she's talking to her chickens. <laughs> no, so, uh, not mouse, dog. That's just Thank you. Thank you very much for your support. I think it'll be great. Thank, thank, thank you very much for doing thing. this. Thank you. Yeah. I'll I'll thank you for going. Yeah. And uh, I too. honestly thought that Adrian would uh, go, but she's gone. Uh, She's going, she's on her way to Italy. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so then it'll be <laughs> on me. She's Do you talk to Adrian? Tell her to say hello to the fascists for us. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. She texted I'm me on very, the plane. I'm very fortunate in that um, it's not an evening service. It's during the day. I think it's on a Saturday or a Sunday. It will probably be very casual. Saturday. Like there will be nothing formal about it. It'll just be like maybe a little place for some nibblies and there'll probably be some pictures and people will just be kind of wandering around and you just need to find the family, whoever the family representatives are. They'll be, yes. it'll be obvious who they are and you just, yes. we'll just go up to them and tell them who you are. Yeah. That's yeah. it. I, I can, I can do that. Yeah. You can do, I know you can do this. Yeah. Yeah. You, it's you, It's going to be it. hard, but Good. I can do it. It's a, All it's things a that are hard are worth doing. Just, well, just think that we're, we're actually all with you. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Thank you very much. I, I was thinking about it. And from my um, atheist group, they were like, can we have a representative go? And the president couldn't go. But it's like, well, then I'll go. I'll like, good for we, you. We only knew Larry from. Um, online, but we we knew him well. Yep. Uh, Absolutely. So, yeah, I'll right. tell you. Oh. I'll tell you a little secret. Just, oh. just one more thing. Sure. He actually helped me out financially. He gave me two hundred dollars. Oh. Wow. Aww. So there what a great guy. So, what a sweet yeah. guy. Yeah. That's very sweet. So that's why I'm almost tears so anyway. i don't want anybody else to have the, do this so right. i don't want to yeah. hear anybody else dying okay yeah so, well <laughs> no more susan, allowed susan Good susan plan, we have susan. to talk about it oh yeah i know i'm no, sorry it's only, it's only if we're specifically do. saying like i that that you know has anybody seen if donald trump is still alive you know yeah <laughs> that's the only time yeah. that it might matter has, has anyone checked has anybody checked? Well, I just want to get it off my chest. Last last Tuesday, my mom died. Oh, and uh, I, I, went to, I went to trivia last Thursday and I didn't want to talk about it. And then I felt good to not think about it. And then mm -hmm. didn't want to think of that's her in the background. Uh, her mm -hmm. husband was the one who died of COVID in February. Mm -hmm. And her and I hadn't talked since October because she didn't want to take the vaccine and all that stuff. But anyway. Uh -huh. We got, I saw, I talked to her at his funeral for a few minutes and, and uh, everything was okay. But um, last Tuesday, uh, she just didn't get up. She got up in the morning and then she just collapsed. Mm. And uh, so my, my brother used to call her, remind her to get her meds and stuff like that. And he just, she didn't answer the phone. She had one of those little buttons you push, you know, right. and she didn't even push it. So it happened quick and she was 84 and mm. it's okay. Everything's okay. 
and um, I'm okay with it. It's you know, it's been she's been a good mother to me and stuff like that. Well, but, these, these things so, are never easy, Kevin. Yeah, yeah it just so it just uh, condolences. Yeah, thank you. And um, I feel your pain there, Vincent. You know, and one one funny thing that happened to me is I hadn't seen my older brother in about ten years, and uh, him and I had been fighting because he's a trumper. So he put his arms around me at the funeral and he whispered in my ear and he said, let's not fight, we're brothers. And I said, okay. And he said, what, you're gay? <laughs> oh, he, oh, he overreacted. He overreacted. I said, no. I said, okay. And then my son started laughing when I told him what happened. I was like, oh my God. So not only is he a Trumper, he's a homophobe. And, oh. and maybe maybe a little hard of hearing too. Yeah, yeah. And, and partially blind, partially blind because he got COVID and didn't believe it was real. So you've got a lot of things going on. <sighs> anyway, it's my well, category. Well, we're here for each other. It's right? my category. Yeah. Are you guys ready? And, and we're here for Kevin's next category, which is Are you ready? people who have people who we've what do you hope oh, will partially blind COVID survivors? <laughs> yeah, oh, I'm ready for this, Kevin. Men parts. It's another mystery category, who, of who, course. Who is it? Who? Who? It's another mystery oh. category, of course. But we know it will only be ten questions. <laughs> yes, only ten. And uh, I'm trying to find the chat thing where I can post it. It doesn't look good. It's but they're there. all true and false. There it is. Right? <laughs> <laughs> what did he say? They're all, all true, true and false. false. Oh, <laughs> about Billy Joel. <laughs> Answer the questions, fill in the blanks, uncover the theme. The first question, what was Natalie Schaefer's TV nickname? All right, someone can block if they want. The next question, it could have been real easy, but I cut part of it out. It's a quote from a movie. My God, the blank. What is it, Simon? A large fiery ball, blah, 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 blah. I left out that part because it would make the question too easy, but that's not important now. You're gonna fill in that blank. Uh, the next one I have to apologize for breaking the rules. I wrote it two weeks ago. We didn't I'd make rather, that rule. I'd rather laugh with the blank than cry with the saints. Well, you know the Peggy will get it. Number four. This is kind of a long question, the longest one in the root in the in the is it longer the, than something Rob's written? Uh, maybe one or two of his, not all of his, though. He's he's beaten this one. American <laughs> blank. Uh, I don't think I'm the champ at the lengthy questions. No, you're uh, not, but you're uh, you're gonna be number two or three. American Blank is an American reality television series that premiered on January 18th, 2010 on the History Channel. The hosts travel across America in search of rare American Americana artifacts and national treasures that they can buy from collectors to add to their personal collections or sell in the antique shops. Number five and six are photos. Oh, I'm gonna have to show my screen. Uh, first, I gotta open up the screen. Okay, it's gonna take half a second. Uh, Are they coins their cartoon characters? Uh, no. They're both images of us playing trivia. Share screen. The invisible man. Number five. It's us. We're the vision. We're the picture. Number five. Oh, take a picture of it, you guys. Take a picture of it. What do these images have in common? That's number five. I'm going to stop the share now. And then I'm going to share number six. Okay. What do these images have in common? I hope you can see there's four faces there. I don't see the fourth. Uh oh. I do. I can see him. Yeah. I see four. It's, it's your, sc it's your screen with. Yeah, move here. Oh. You can just scroll. Yeah, I just got to move the thing there. Okay. Yeah. He's moving his thing. 
Yeah. <laughs> it sounds like a personal problem. It's my man parts. <laughs> very good. Very good. Keeping with the theme. <laughs> okay. How do I get it? I can't. Now I can't get out of it because I Stop covered share. my. But I covered it with the. Oh, oh I covered it. Happens. How are we going to be able to see these um, when we're. Um, yeah, took pictures. Um, how can, no, how can we take the pictures? I have no idea how to take pictures. I got my Polaroid right here. <laughs> Hopefully, someone on your team took a screenshot and can share it. Yeah, I, got, no, I, 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 I can't unshare because I've got it covered. The oh, there it is. Um, I found a way to move it. There it is. It's not the share. Okay. Well, hit escape. You could usually get out of it. I usually do alt tab. I should have. We have to that. stare at those men for the rest of the yeah, game. Alt tab yeah. works. Yeah. Yep. Is uh, is yeah, like when you at uh, number six? Is it a one word answer that you're looking for? Uh, you'll know. You'll know when it fits the theme. You'll know what I'm looking for. Blank Samuel Vaughn, also known as Mo, played first base for the Red Sox, Angels, and Mets from oh, it cut something off, 1991 to 2003. It's on there. Oh, is it? Yep. No. No. Oh. Yeah. yeah. I'm looking right at it. Oh, that's now weird. I just put it on. It wasn't on mine. It's on mine. Yeah, it's on mine. It, it is now. If the chat is, uh, if you squeeze the chat down in the panel size, it actually takes it away. It's a Zoom problem. Yep. Ooh. What is Julio's most famous song? <laughs> that's a trick question. <laughs> Rest in peace. Yeah, oh, really. God. He died today. Really? Yep. Yeah. yep. Oh, how's that, for, that guy! How's that for being? We don't have psychic? to worry about him then. Did huh? you do that, Kevin? Was that your? I, I did. I did write it. I did change it today. It was a different question. I changed you didn't it want today. somebody. I don't want to lose anybody else. According to Forbes magazine, what is the most valuable sports franchise? That's a multiple choice. Just pick the team that's the most valuable, according to Forbes magazine. And number ten. Name the movie. Oh, number uh, nine had four choices in case you're listening. Dallas Cowboys, Los Angeles Rams, New England Patriots, or the New York Yankees. Number 10, name the 1999 movie with the following characters. Peter Gib Gibbons, Bill Lumberg, and Michael Bolton. And that's it. When Lodi you say Rose, the most valuable, do you mean valuable in financially like it's or, worth or like their the mother most, loves them the most? The most millions of billions of dollars, according okay. to Forbes. You'd have magazine. to pay to buy it. Your mom, your mother would love them the most. <laughs> no, nobody. Not my mom. That. She was not a sports fan. She no. was a. Uh, Neither was mine. Upholstery cake decorating fan. A cake decorating fan. Yeah, she could bake a cake and decorate it, and she could do upholstery and stuff like that. She was jack of all trades. So Except go to your rooms. Okay. Why right, do I do that? You can do it. Yeah, I can do it. I got to put Kevin and, oh, Kevin, you've got your power. So I just got to put yep. Deborah on her team, which is the team I'm about to go to. So I will see yep. you in a few minutes, Deborah. Okay. Everybody else got there? Yep. I think everybody else. Okay. I can go now. Well, hello, team. Hello. Oh. I don't know many of these. Uh, no idea. I just, no answers, I but I don't know the theme. I number two, eight. Number eight is them. Gangsta's Paradise. Okay, so there you Agreed. go. Yes, yes. That's the only one I know. I saw that today, and I was well, thinking that's the only song Weird I know. Al Yankovic. Because Weird Al Yankovic. That's good. yeah. That's the only reason I know. Oh. It. Amish Paradise. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Three is definitely Sinners. Yeah. Oh yeah, that that's one I know. Wrote down. We that know one. the same two. That doesn't help. I think number five is Smoking. I'm thinking oh. smokers. These yeah, smokers. Because the, the middle one is something yeah. like barbecue. Yeah, barbecue. I agree. Yep. Wait, 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 wait. The other two have cigarettes. Wait a minute. I have to wait, wait. Number picture. five? That's a pitcher. It's yeah. selling mm -hmm. and. What? Keep up, Rob. Why is the no. middle smoke? Why is the middle smoking? It's a smoke. It's a, you know, it's a, a meat, cooker. A meat smoker. That's a smoker. Like a oh. meat smoker. Okay, so it's pig so, in the grill. So the answer, oh, so the answer is smoker. Smokers. Smoker. 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 Not smoking. Well, right? I think it could be smoking. He's going to take it. No, either way. no, because the middle one. It, well, but it just. Well, it might not help us get what the category is if you don't say the right word. Okay, so number either six. smoker or smoking. Well, who smoker is men? Yeah. Who is the first picture of? Don't know. That's uh, the first picture. That's Brokeback. from um, Brokeback Mountain, but I don't know who. No, the no, in the oh. number five. 
Number five. That, that oh, that's John Wayne. Okay. Yeah. I think the uh, one on the right was John Wayne. John Wayne. The one on the far right was um uh what's oh, Sean, yeah, Sean Nicholson. Connor. No, Jack Nick Jack Nicholson. Are we no. talking number six or five? Okay, five. number six. Six. Okay, number six, that's Jack Nicholson. He looks Jack good. Nicholson, the first yeah. broke back mountain guy is Keith Ledger. Keith Ledger, yeah. I knew I can't think of his last uh, name. So it's Keith Ledger on the left and Keith, Jack Nicholson Keith, on the right. Keith, and Jack Nicholson, it, those, these are scenes from movies, I think. Yeah. yeah. The one on the right is a scene from One Floor of a Cuckoo's Nest. The one on the left Agreed. is from Brokeback Mountain. I don't know about the middle two. I don't know who they are. Well, the second guy, the black and white picture is... Um, like, who is that? I, so I, know I, don't I didn't take I didn't have my phone over here, so I didn't get a picture of the uh, thing. It's not Cesar Romero, is it? Oh, he could be. I did take a picture of it. He looks like my dad. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. Oh, oh, they all played, they all played in the Batman or Joker films. Did they? Oh, if it's Cesar Romero, then you're right. The, yes. the joke, they were all yep. the Joker. Yeah. They were all well, the Jokers. All the jokers. Yep. Okay. So, yeah. so Joker. So Joker. Jokers and Jokers. Okay. Then it, then it is Cesar Romero. Romero. Yeah. Yep. That's what got it for me. Because like the first two, I wasn't connecting. But when you said that, oh, yeah. Hey, look at Robin's got a visitor. Yeah. Yeah. Corey. She's hey, Corey. Romero. Yeah. They were all, we've already figured out the answer. Okay. My husband's trying to be helpful. So smokers, we, we got we got, si we got sinners, smoker, and jokers. And gangsters. Yeah. And gangsters. Oh, oh. Is this uh oh oh I know what this is. Oh, what like is bad this? guys? Uh is a great uh, they song. call me the space cowboy. Oh, yeah. yeah, sorry. Yeah, no, I can't scan that song. Gangster of love. love. Smoker, a joker, a a real. smoker, Sinner, a something. joker, and a midnight, midnight joker. joker. Does that mean that nine is cowboy? Nine is Cowboys. Nine. You're right. Dallas Cowboys. Yeah, Cowboys. <laughs> That's gonna be Cowboys. All right. But I thought, 10, I thought ten was office space. How does that work? Am I wrong? <laughs> <laughs> Midnight office space. Okay, I hate the song. I really hate Somebody this sing song. it. Space, it was a song. Cowboys. Somebody sing it. Somebody sing it. It's the space part of space cowboys. Wait, so is seven Maurice? Oh, right. Maurice. Yeah. Samuel. Maurice. Oh. Maurice. Because his name's Mo. Some Mo. Nice. Maurice. Nice. Nice. All right. So I want to know what I want to know what pompatus means. <laughs> the pompatus. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what is that? I, I always thought it was the properties, and I no, think no. I just sang P it. That way. I, no. Pompatus. I know. I I, I don't um, know what that is. Where I looked at the lyrics one time, and it is the pompatus. What was that we have the theme, Kevin. What was four, you guys? I was in the other room. No, we didn't do four yet. The History Channel uh -huh. one? I had, yeah, I was thinking Pawn Shop, but that doesn't fit either. Okay, somebody sing the song. Some people call me a space cowboy. cowboy. There's space anywhere. Some space call cowboy. me the gangster of love. love. Call me the gangster of love. So we have gangster, but do we have love? We need We've space. already got gangster in another. Call me Maurice. We got, woo, we, got, we got that one already. We got one. Uh, and so, okay. what's, the, what's the line after the woo woo? We'll call me a like, smoker, um, joker, a midnight talk joker. About me. Midnight. Keep talking about me, baby. Yeah, Say you're doing your wrong, doing your wrong. Doing your wrong. But don't, well, don't you worry, worry baby. Don't, don't worry. Because I'm right here, right here, right here, right here. Right here, right here. Right here. <laughs> Oh, right here at home. This, this um, is just all picker, picker. Oh, American pickers, American, American pickers. pickers. Oh, American pickers. Which one is this? Four. 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 I'm a picker. I'm a grinner. I'm a lover. I'm a sinner. 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 Okay, so we have a grinner, and I'm a grinner, and I'm a lover, and I'm a sinner. <laughs> Wait. Okay. So now, what's one? What was the clue for Natalie? One? I've never heard of Natalie Schaefer. Yeah, me neither. Maybe it's grinner. I mean, it's got to be one of these words, right? Okay. Lover. Lovey. Lover. Hmm. I'm a midnight. What other words didn't we use? Midnight. We didn't use midnight. Midnight. Oh, so those are, are they all toke? No, smokers is right. There's not the toker. <laughs> well, 10 um, was the, do we have the name of the 1999 movie? No. I think that's supposed to be space because you said it was office space. So wouldn't it be the oh, space? Oh, that's part? the space. Oh, 
Space Cowboy. Good, there we go. Good, good, call. Good, call. good job. We put it all together. Yeah, I'm like, which one is space Office Space? space? Ten. Ten. Uh, ten. We're ten. And the space ties into the song. Okay. Um, so we just need one and two, right? So number one, it's got to be something to do with love or grinning. Grinning, yeah. Grinner. Nat oh, is Natalie Schaefer, Gilligan's Island, Mrs. Howell, Lovey? Lovey. Oh, Lovey. Maybe you're right. All right. That's how it works. Let me ask. Let me ask. Natalie Schaefer? Her name was Natalie Schaefer? I, I am asking. I don't know. Do you know who Natalie Schaefer was? Was she from uh, Gilligan's Island? I'm going to ask my husband, too. Is that everything? Did we get everything else? Oh, well, do we have two? Oh, I wrote down the sun. I thought this was from airplane. <laughs> this says, what is it? A large fiery ball? Yeah, that know. would that would be. But that does is that it, does that the sun oh, is sun, sun in, the, in song? the song? Could be. A oh yeah, or... something. In, play my music in the sun. Play okay, my music that's it in then. The sun. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's kind of yeah. reaching though. That's a... What did Mark say about Lovey? He didn't know. He said it. Uh, my husband I thinks that was Natalie Schaefer. That was Lovey. Okay. okay. All right. So we got all of them. Thanks. So wait a minute. What's number two? Sun. The sun. The sun. The sun. sun. S U N. Oh my God, the sun. What is it? What is it? <laughs> a large fiery ball, but that's not important right now. Well, what is that from? from airplane, yeah. so of course, Len Lenin would correct him and say it's not on fire. It's a nuclear furnace. It has nothing to do with fire. As we're falling into it. <laughs> Who's Simon? What? My God, the sun. What is it, Simon? It, it's a character on airplane. From the movie Airplane. Oh. Leslie Nielsen. I don't remember the script. We'll, well have to watch that. that. No, we don't. Yeah, they did that I about 10 times in the movie. Yeah, okay. What is it? And then it would be that way. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you guys are great. It was well, good. I'm thinking about movies to watch with my dad this week. I'm going to put Airplane on the list. <laughs> There's pictures. Caspian Spoke. So, so number five has to be Smoker. Smoker. Yeah. Smoker. Yeah. I'm a smoker. I'm in the smokers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Isn't, isn't that oh, thing that the pig goes in called a smoker? Woo, in fact? Woo. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's a smoker. That thing that looked like a giant, like an expanded barbecue. Yeah, I, I, thought, I didn't realize what Who's, it was whose in. song is this? Who does the song so I can never ever? Um, uh, <laughs> Steve, uh, Miller Band. Steve Miller Band. Miller Band. Yeah. Oh, I like Steve Miller Band. Aren't aren't they the one that did? Um... Uh, and you would happy be happy to know that it's one of Homer Simpson's favorite songs. Oh, oh good. <laughs> you know, I really zero. like the song. It's just been played way too much. No, I can't stand it. I can't stand the way they sound. Oh, I love Some it. people call me Maurice. Woo -woo. I like, don't like it. It's, it's like it's like every stereotypical 70s thing I've ever seen in my entire life. I don't like life. the Bee Gees either, huh? Staying alive, staying alive. They did that woo, all the time. Woo, woo. Woo. Well, the whole all that falsetto voice was all they ever used. Well, the only time you listen to Bee Gees is when you're working out, which is like never for me. But it, <laughs> I mean, that's like that. I, I woo, just woo, listened woo, to the woo. playlist on the way home from where I was driving today. It just happened to come up on my phone and played the playlist. Mm. Well, this song you can play over and over, and every time you'll think of us. Mm -hmm. And more. I have, I have a Saturday Night Fever album. Saturday Night. Sat yeah, what has he not done yet? <laughs> he did bohemian rhapsody right yes yeah. that was great that's what actually gave me the idea to do the one i did we're gonna do bohemian rhapsody it's like yeah. just let me know uh, are we interpretive interpretive dance <laughs> maybe, maybe time maybe time you're gonna to be doing it by yourself huh? no no there's always somebody who will do it with me <laughs> it's usually kenny biddle and kathy kathy um Kathy Smith and Meat, uh, Meatloaf Paradise. Somebody's going to film me. Dashboard Light is a good one to do interpretive dance. Susan, this is unrelated to anything, but I know you do embroidery. I wanted to share this. With you. Oh, wow. Well, oh, yeah. yeah. Cool. That's beautiful. Did you do that? My grandmother did. Oh, oh. Really? It's her initial. It's a G, but I put it on its side. <laughs> Oh, oh that's yeah. really pretty. It's a it's a raised kind of embroidery with ribbons, right? Is that with ribbons? That is gorgeous. Yeah, it's ribbons. And see the purple? That's the where they take it and they twist it like a bunch of times around and then they put it. Yeah, it's twisted around the needle, but it's not ribbon. It's all DMC floss. That is huh. gorgeous. You I'm she taught me and I taught Sagan. How come you have it on the side? Because the G doesn't make sense to me because I'm not a G. She's a Gloria. 
but I'm not a Gloria. So I just put it on its side so I can remember her and it, but not have a G on my wall. Doesn't look much like a G actually. <laughs> so, uh, but I um, would look at it and say it's Gloria. I did this one. Is uh, that uh, is that also? Oh yeah, yeah, it is embroidery. Look at so that. So let me ask you guys, I'm reading a it's book gorgeous. and I keep bringing up the term penny too. point embroidery. Do you know, is that, does that mean something what? to me? Any penny point? point? Any, Any point? point? Penny, like the, the coin, penny point embroidery. No? I don't think I've ever heard of it. You heard it? Rob, so Rob you've heard this thing, it's called Google. Well, that, I, I'm never near my computer when I'm thinking. Look on Wikipedia. Right now. I'm oh, look at like she's got one. Oh, look at oh. this thing it's making. Is that a little mermaid? She made this one a few years ago. Oh. Yeah, she's, she's 10 now. So that must have been when she was six yeah. or seven. Well, in Montessori Rob, classes, they teach three year olds how to embroider. Oh, wow. Hmm. It's really Rob, adorable. Rob, are you sure? Quick. Are you sure you're not yeah. mishearing? Or, I don't know if you're reading it or listening, but are you sure it's not petty point as in? P-E-T-I-T-E. -E. It's possible. I'm, I'm listening to an audio book where they keep saying Okay, so I, I think it's petty point. P -E yeah. Do people little, little know what that tiny, is? I don't little know tiny stitches, probably. I, I'll Google it. Petty point? I've never heard of it. Uh, oh, point. yeah, I'm saying it's a French word. Petite. P -E -T -T. Petite, yeah. Petite. Yeah. Petite. Oh, and I could see because yeah, petty point. You might not pronounce the final T. It would be petty point. Okay. You guys got 10 answers? Uh, yes, we do. Well, yeah, time, to go. time to go. <laughs> well, we're just waiting for somebody to tell us to go. There it goes. Not 60 seconds. I gotta get this to fit petty doing point, the social similar, part. But yeah, you can Google this. petty point. My mom used to do petty point I'm embroidery. What are you listening to that's got that? Is, is that like tatting? Is that the same thing as tatting? No, similar, not at all. Is it, is it similar okay. but different to cross Tatting stitch. is like lace it's making. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 So this, this, is, this, is a, this is in the sequel to Handmaid's Tale, Testaments. And oh. so I've it's never, from the standpoint the first of the people who are raised to be the husbands of the commanders and they're looking husbands? down they're looking down on the regular people who only do regular embroidering they don't know how to do petty point embroidering it's like <laughs> oh, you know, they're geez. not trained in that <clears throat> well yeah fine and dandy do do i hate this song kevin i just want you to know it's a great Never song. I love the song. I love it's the song. It's a great it's song. You gotta watch. Go. You gotta watch. Also, the girls great. on the black. I, I, I told song. Susan that was Homer's favorite song. Homer sings it. It's awesome. <laughs> Wait till you listen to the video. I sing it too. <sighs> I have an '80s station. Oh, look at Paula's tired. Tired Paula. Paula. Hey, Susan. Yes, sir. Do you know that we're being recorded? Just thought I'd let you know. Oh, well, thank you. I heard that rumor. Oh, okay. <laughs> thank you very much. I was quite aware of that. <laughs> I wondered what that was. I just had to do it. I'm sorry. Okay, Paula's here somewhere, and she's and Where what is, is it she? on her? Here is it a louder than a fucking here. camel toe in Walmart or lots of them? Hundred and seven. Oh my god! It feels like hundred and seven. Where oh is the god. answer? Is ready for answers? Yes, sir. Oh, tired, yeah. Paula. Hundred seven degrees. Well, that okay. was September 1st, it says. If you didn't notice or didn't get the theme, it's in really? reverse order. Oh. So if, if you sing the song from number 10 up, it's in chronological Oh, we order. didn't realize that. I wondered okay. about that. I didn't that. want to okay. put it in one through 10 because it was too easy, but 10 through one is in order. So number one is lovey, because the song ends with lovey dovey all day long. <laughs> number two is sun, as in at the center of our solar system are the words that I left off the quote. From airplane two. And number three is Number three is sinners, as in, as in the person I won't mention his name song. What, what are you What are you doing? What are you doing to randomly meet yourself and unmute yourself? I didn't. I was trying to push enter and I did it by accident. I pushed oh, the wrong okay. button or something. Number four is American pickers, so pickers. Number five, number five is smoker. Number six is joker. And if you notice, those are all guys who played Joker and Batman, except for Matthew Modine, who played the part of Joker in uh, another movie. Right. Full Metal Jacket, right? Yeah, Full Metal Jacket. Yep. Yes. Some people Sorry, call thank me you. The Space Cowboy. Some people call me Maurice. That's number whoa, seven. Whoa. Thought... You lift out the Midnight Tookers. Woo! Woo! Yep, I did. That would have been too obvious. Number eight is Gangsta's Paradise. Number nine is the Dallas Cowboys. Yay. Number 
Jack is office space. Good team. Hey, hey. My team is awesome. We so were. Shooting it from the bottom, some people call me the Space Cowboys. Some call me mm. the Gangster of Love. Some call me Maurice. Joker, Smoke, the Midnight Joker, Picker, Sinner, Grinner, Under the Sun, Lovey W all day long. That's Very it. good. I think everybody awesome. got 10. Maybe, Thanks, maybe somebody got a Space nine. Cowboys. I almost did that movie, Space Cowboys, but I did Office Space instead. To get uh, office Space. And it's Cowboys. Two number for nine a while. is Cowboys. Zeke goes, number 10, the answer is Office Space, but I don't see how that fits in. It <laughs> took us a while to go, oh, space. Yeah, I don't always use all the words. Yeah, it was clever. Very clever. Very good, Kevin. I'm running out of songs, guys. Good job, oh, Kevin. There's always more like songs. It. You'll never run out of songs. So I'll find something. Me they get, over and over they get more. Clues. They get more like obscure, rare, obscure. Exact. That's the word. He's gonna do. Then, he's gonna do some sort of poetry, or a mix know, will be. It's always uh, REM, uh, the end of the world as we know it. It's that's the that's end a of challenge the world for you, Paul. As we know it. I love that song. <laughs> Michael he, probably do it now that we've said it. He's got his oh. hand up there again. Yeah. <laughs> I just like it's, the way my chair is. It's comfortable to have my hand up like this. It means nothing. I do it too. I do it too. I lean on my. I lean on it. Yeah, I have a little thing here too, but I don't. So get some scores. Oh, that scores. We need to have scores. I think okay. every. Did anybody not get a ten? Yes. No, no, we didn't. Uh oh. Yeah, we didn't. We didn't know. Yeah, just missed question one because I didn't recognize the actress name. So sorry, team. Okay, so Putin, have you considered annexing Saint Petersburg, Florida? Uh, is that us? Uh, yeah. Ten. <laughs> um okay the salacious sound of succulent sausages Ten. Ten. jackie are you here where's jackie Ten. Ten. God, that is so embarrassing i feel so bad for him curse you ian mar-a-lago still stands nine and Nine. when russia panics it will annex we also got nine Ooh, what am I gonna do? I've got, I've got Paula. Mm. This is a very high scoring one, game. Two, three, yeah. four, Four, five. One, two. I guess Paula's on team one. Also, a very close game. You guys get tired, so Paula. Far. All right, so let's take a picture, a photo. I don't think we're gonna do anything special that would say Lariana. I don't think, right? We have to. We have to change our names. We could make. We could make L's, but. It looks like it's not going to show up on the photo anyway. No, well, if you went like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. The letter L. Oh, that's is. Backwards, though. No. Yeah, Does it doesn't show up on the picture. It doesn't show up on the picture. Our names? Like yeah. No. Uh, yeah, our picture will have our names on it. Yeah. Take when a screenshot. Two, yeah. So just, if you take a screenshot. How did you do that, Robin? Yeah, I didn't know how to do it. <laughs> what okay, on the upper left hand corner of your little square. There's a little oh, blue yeah. uh, square with three dots on it. Click on that. Yes. And then click on rename. Rename. Ah, ha, ha. Thank you. Um, yeah, I, so, uh, how do you do it? I have, a, I have an iPad, so it doesn't have that stuff. Yeah, I, I can do it for you. What, what do you want it to say? Whatever we're saying. Yeah, what do we yeah, say? I'm, I made mine. We miss Larry. How do you yeah, do Yeah, I don't. I did I don't it for you. So I have to make sure that this gets on my cell phone so that I can show everyone. Let me do that again. We can do it. Uh, or, or Susan Maybe I'll take, read this on a uh, cell hi, phone. But. Susan could take a <laughs> I don't know how to pick it. Yeah, I don't think you're going to just kind of. Hey, thank you. That's or, I can, or I can take a picture of it from my cell phone. Could do that. That's going to be worse. Yeah. No, uh, I think, I think it'll work. You know, if um, if you have one of those stores that does pictures, you could Susan could just send the picture to them, and it's they could print it. Calgary, yeah. No, it doesn't. Yeah, you want no, the full? I don't. I don't have anything like that. You want the full? Or res. we might, but I don't know. Yeah, the better, the higher the res, the nicer it'll print out. Okay, is everybody done with their planning on doing? Yes. Do anything? Okay, so all right, I'm gonna hey. count three. Ready? One, two, three. Okay, let's see if I got that. 
some of us were very happy and some of us were very sad. <laughs> I'm not sure I was one of the happy ones because I don't know if I could take a picture sad because that's just like weird. No, it worked. I got it. Yeah. Good. Oh my God, it looks really good. Good. Oh yeah. No, I can totally show this. Okay, there you go. Yeah. Oh yeah. Awesome. Today yeah. is uh, September. Yeah. Don't delete it. No, no. <laughs> well, I also have the sometimes, screenshot. Well, sometimes, on too. sometimes the funeral homes, they'll have special electronics set up that yeah, it can actually mom, yeah. go on a big screen. So, if, Well, the memorial page, can't we put a picture on that? Um, I think they can. I'll, I'll, I can, I can do that. Yeah. Yeah. The big oh, screen, the big screen, Vincent, usually that's arranged in advance. Like yeah, somebody has yeah. put that together. So yeah. 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 That's, that's true. Yeah. That's okay. But, but you can print out something and give it to them. You can share it on the memorial page. Maybe not having them look at your phone. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. yeah. But um, yeah, no, but it worked. But I got it anyway, so I can Great. either make a picture of it or um, if people don't mind doing that, so. Yeah, just. Yeah, or if people don't mind me doing that. I don't think we care. But I got it, it, it looks Great. really good. Very good, okay, so we're gonna take five minutes. Oh, okay. Right? And again, thank you so much for doing this. Yep. Hey, that's not, thank you. Oh, yeah. you're so welcome. I just, it, I got the idea from my other group and she said that she wasn't able to go. And it's like, hey, you know what? I volunteer, I'll go. So, uh, let me change my name back. <clears throat> so people were talking about the uh, silliness of unclassifying or declassifying stuff with your mind. I wanted yeah. to share a great meme. <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> so does does everyone recognize the uh, yeah. uh, the yeah. creature? From yeah. the original, series. original Star Trek. Yep. From from the, the uh, pilot. from the from the pilot that uh, oh, wow. that was never actually picked up. I thought their existence was classified. <laughs> well, but we're that's on the other side of the broken fourth wall. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was just just brilliant. Yep. My photo in the background right now is uh, when my mom met uh, Elizabeth Warren, and she was really happy about that. And, oh, uh, that's the, that's that's great! And all the Trumpers at the uh, funeral had to see it because <laughs> it was broadcast on the big screen. And Yay. a few of them said, "Oh, I know who that is." Oh, I know who that is. And then I said to my uncle, who's a Trumper, "You know, my mother used to donate money to her and Pelosi and all the Democrats." And he's like, "Oh, that's too bad." <laughs> that's too bad yeah my mother and her brother fought for years because he's a trumper and she's a democrat she said she's a, 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 a an independent but she was definitely yeah. a democrat <laughs> they had some sort of a group um a luncheon and elizabeth warren showed up wow i'd love i'd well, love to be at a luncheon where elizabeth warren shows up that would be yeah, awesome. it was um it was a woman's group or something and they meet uh down at cape cod somewhere and elizabeth warren happened to be the occasion in the area and someone contacted her she dropped in 
it was cool. It was cool, but you know, because they her and her church group and everybody donates money to all these different people and stuff, and that was probably why she showed up to get some money. Yeah. My mom was loaded, but I didn't get anything. My kids got houses. I get nothing. <laughs> that's good because that's your kids will go take care of you. <laughs> well, we'll see so. about that. <laughs> Hear that, Caspian? <laughs> what? No. That's 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 our plan anyway. There's they promised me from 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 infancy, as soon as they could talk. Mom, we're gonna buy you several vacation homes. Well, you change their, <laughs> their diapers. Now it's their turn, right? Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> well, the thing about vacation homes is that most people want them in places like Florida. And no, no, honestly, not me. No, it's okay. Yeah, I'd, I'd rather live in a cardboard box in the tenderloin than live in Florida. Ooh. Want to buy a house in Yarmouth? <laughs> Do I have to pronounce it like that? <laughs> Yarmouth? Where's they Yarmouth? They could say East Yarmouth or Moved West Yarmouth. There, I'm yeah. not sure. No what idea what that is. It's, part, it's in the heart of Cape Cod. Oh. Okay, really so we're back. Area, nice little area. Where's everybody at? I don't see Kathy. So, Leonard, will you be at PsyCon? That's the plan. Of course he will. Okay. That's he can't plan. be there with a hug. He's going to be hugging everybody. That's the, well, the being there is the plan. We'll, we'll see how the hugs go. Yeah, we'll see about yeah. the hugging. <laughs> yeah. Nobody gets bring, bring your own N95 mask because Barry said they just got little surgical masks. I'm not wearing a mask. Sorry. I'm I'll bring be, you one. I'm going to be, I'm going to be licking people. <laughs> <laughs> it's too hard to lick people with a mask on. So we got, we got our bivalent booster and flu shots today together. Me too. That's where I got I my flu late. shot. But I, I've been away a little bit on the booster because Mark and I had COVID for the first yeah. time a few, a few weeks ago. So it doesn't make yeah. sense to have it. We're going to wait a little bit. Besides, we've got four shots. So, you know, I don't want to have a fifth right away. All right. So are we back? We look like we're back. They're back. So um, we'll start with some quick announcements. I'm sure we've got some somewhere. Um, maybe Kyle. My sure. Yeah, I can jump right in this week on Data Skeptic. Talk to a researcher who studies cookies in particular, you know, those things that your browser uses to track you. Oh, no, chocolate There's chip. A Dang it. Oh, I just no, got less interested. Not this kind. Oh, yeah, That's I'm only for patrons it. right there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the uh, third party cookies are going to be taken away. Only Chrome still uses them, but uh, advertisers are figuring out new and fun ways to track you. So we get into to that on this week's episode of data skeptic that'll be good i'm not caught up i'm i've been usually have it done by thursday but i haven't i haven't listened to it. i'm behind on a lot of them i i have heard that one and it is quite interesting he's now, had some really now, good ones in the past so i assume this one's going to be just as good now i want a cookie thanks kyle <laughs> <laughs> thanks kyle all right, who else has announcements? Is there anything else that we know of that's going on? I'm going to be in Sacramento. The whole Steiner family is going to be represented by, hopefully, by Sarah. So, hopefully. So, so tomorrow is the day I find out if I'm going to speak at the Sunday papers. Wish oh, me luck. Is it tomorrow? Should we all have a prayer? You've done it <laughs> twice. Let somebody else do it. And, and, and since, since I had to make the presentation anyway... I uh, was just uh, announced that I'm going to be doing the talk at the Red Bank Humanists in, a, in about two weeks. Um, a longer version because uh, PsyCon only gives you 15 minutes and here I can talk as long as I want to. Oh, so, wait, wait, that's great because yeah. I just got a message from some guy today who said, I'm in Philadelphia, let me find it. So this this is about the Great Australian Psychic Prediction Project which several people here participated in and I'm going to give them the inside scoop. Let me send this, to this be guy good. right now. He says, <laughs> this guy said, his name is William. He says, I he loved the article I wrote about Eugene skeptics, skeptic camp. And he says, I live in Pennsylvania close to the west, to Westchester. Is that near? Then Pennsylvania. <laughs> no, but would that be close to his New Jersey group? It's, it's, just, out, it's just outside of Philly. It, yeah, just yeah. outside of Philly. Is that close? close to part of it <laughs> well he says are any, are any groups in uh pennsylvania delaware or southern new jersey i could join 
Yeah, my God, fact. The Philadelphia yeah, fact. Association well, I gave for him Critical that. Thinking. I gave him that. So this humanist yeah. group, would that be close? No. Okay, well, then I won't, I won't tell him. Have to argue. I, don't, I don't have a blog, but I did want to share something that's happening locally. When you're, done. when you're done. Oh, oh good. Okay. So, okay. Um, really? There is, um, well, let me Robin, you're not muted. I muted her. Um, so um, there's a, a, a local candidate for office as uh, she and her partner live in a town called Pacific Grove where Cindy lives and um, not far from here. It's 25 miles from here. And they've had some problems there like with law enforcement having this, uh, those prude boys, you know, or the low <laughs> kind of, you know, crude boys. <laughs> crude boys and loath keepers. Yeah. And, <laughs> um, and so now uh, she's running for office and there's a group that started called PG lives, L I V E S. And they're all kind of family values and all this stuff they're talking about. And they want to bring back, um, they want to take the, the, the town back in its steps towards addressing a more fair, inclusive government. Anyway, so they pulled up a, some an old Twitter she had, and they were they were bringing it up at the public comment at a, a meeting last night, and they're trying to throw the book at her. But we're still supporting her as a candidate, and there's nothing wrong. But I want to show you what these whiny, ridiculous individuals are griping about. This was her tweet. It, she forwarded something that says, buy a Bible, don't read it, and you'll be a Catholic. Buy a, Bible, buy a Bible, read only what suits you, and you will be an evangelical. Buy a Bible, read it fully, analyze it, reason it, and you will be an atheist. <laughs> <laughs> I've yeah. seen this. I think yeah, I've seen that one too. Right. She forwarded it, and then she commented, none of them even read it anyway. So now... <laughs> This and is true now, also. <laughs> yeah. So now, of course, they're, they're just, uh, you're insulting uh, the little, how can you be on a diversity committee or commission when you're insulting and demeaning Catholic? You know, no, anyway, so we're backing her. There, there are these rags in uh, Carmel called the Pine Cone and another rag in Pacific Grove. I don't even know what it's called. And they're trying to sensationalize it and build it up. And we're just going to ignore it until it blows over. But they're trying to make a big deal about that, that she should, shouldn't be in office. And off she goes. What's she running for, Karen? City council. And okay. she will win. Do you know what this whole um, neo-Nazis <coughs> and, and the, the book, the book, um, um, book banning and um and taking over the um like having uh election deniers taking over the uh voting positions and secretary of state all of those i can't i i it scares me it does it is scary it is very scary you're not and the only one I, being scared by that wendy I, I don't have very many people to talk to about it. I, I, I'm glad it came up. Thank you, Karen. I'm glad it came up. You're, here. You're welcome. What I told her is um, you stand strong you, and, and you call me anytime and I will come in person. I'll come in person to defend her if she needs it, but call me anytime. Can she and call you Maurice? Don't argue. <laughs> yes. Don't argue with them. Don't argue with those people. Just know that the people that support you are going to come out. Do you know what the largest growing religious identification in the United States is? Atheism. None. And there are plenty yep. of people who have been atheist all along, but have been pressured, you know, to, to not say it while they're running for office or whatever they're, whatever they're doing, chamber of commerce, whatever. So her people are coming out. She's uh, pro uh, women's rights. Uh, abortion and so forth. They're attacking her in that regard, but this is the one they've glommed on to. And uh, so she will win. So Cindy's the only person here who can vote for her. <laughs> What's her name again? Tina Rao, R-A-U. Oh, R-A-U. Yeah. And that quote is pretty true because um, when I belonged to an atheist group in Houston, one of the women there, as the English Book Report Project, she had in um, high school, probably like 12th grade or what, 
she, uh, the English teacher, had a list of books. You read them, you do an in-depth book report on them. One of them was the Bible. So if, if you wanted to do the Bible, you had a whole school year. The other ones I had like a quarter. Um, she did the Bible. She said when she got done with that book report, she was an atheist. <laughs> yeah. And, and she had to read the Bible, tried to read the Bible from cover to cover. Oh, God. And when she got done, she was an atheist. And, it, and a lot of people pick and choose. Absolutely. The Bible I mean, they want to believe in. And when I was at, a, when I was working and a lot of people were very religious, two women had these favorite quotes from the Bible that they want to live by and they were complete opposite complete opposites. <laughs> and there's she's calling out hypocrisy. She's yeah. calling out the hypocrisy and they don't even you know they're they're they not don't get it. Yeah. Your friend read the wrong translation. That's what happened. <laughs> Yes, Alan. Alan, I've got a question that I've been thinking. I was thinking, actually thinking about today. If you yes. are supposed to be sworn in for office on a Bible, You're if not, you are an atheist, you don't have to be. You don't there is there is no such rule. You can affirm. Oh, so it doesn't have to be a Bible. Or it doesn't have to be a Bible, and it and you don't have to do the under God thing. You can and just you affirm. affirm. You can just affirm instead of swear your oath. Okay, I was wondering. About choose the okay. Constitution if you if you're in yeah. office. That's Choose a good one. Right, but didn't, I can didn't tell you, those, um, uh, I can tell you that in our, one of those cases, when she was saying, um, it was something funny. It was, it was, uh, it was that she, she said she's had quite enough of that separation and uh, of church and state crap, and it's not even really in the Constitution. Well, that's Lauren, Lauren Boebert, yeah. Lauren Boebert, yeah. <laughs> and the end. Her constituents are are gonna. I mean, they elected her. They must think she's a good legislator. <laughs> they think she's hot. No, no, they not a good don't legislator. Have, hey, they, Marjorie they don't Taylor have to Green think is that. now available. I just want yeah, to now available yep. out there who are looking for a hot woman. She's now available. So, although, can I present a, a <laughs> can I present a contrary opinion? Though one of the things I don't like about the Lauren Boberts. And the, and the Marjorie Taylor Greens is the way that they, instead of just presenting their opinions, they have to insult other people's. So even though I agree that, yes, the whole thing about the Bible is that Catholics don't read it, nobody's read it, and if you have read the whole thing, you're going to be an atheist. But that tweet was kind of insulting to Catholics, and I don't like insult politics. I agree. I'm a unit chair. I go to church, and yeah. I, if it were me and I were a Catholic or an evangelical, I would say, yeah, I don't like the people that don't do that as well. They make yeah. us all look bad. I, it's certainly not a way of reaching out to anyone. But, but that, that particular tweet, I, I can see why people would be angry at it if you were a Catholic. But or it's a, just one tweet out of yeah. how many but if it years didn't ago. Come, she didn't it know she's it, it's called humor. Yes. If you yeah, weren't right? yeah, I agree with a it. politician, no one would But care. she is running for office. And if you're That's, running for office, yes. the stuff that you but tweet is going to be examined. Okay, maybe, so we're going to move she on. Maybe should have known better, but we're moving on. Yeah. org right now. That was a great conversation, but we will thank you, Susan. Thank you very much. My uh, the two things I wanted to say before we get out of the announcements really quickly are to remind everybody that we've got some rule changes for the um, people writing categories. So whoever does categories next week, I will ask after the next round who's going to do the categories. We're going to mention those. And lastly, is is that um, I have multiple projects in the community as a whole um, that we might be doing in the skeptic community, scientific skeptic community. And we're always one to take on projects who feel the calling to uh, step up and do some more with their community than they had before. And if so, just reach out to me and let's see if we can find a place to put you. So I'm just throwing it here, look, throwing it out there that uh, we're, we're looking for new people to to take on things. Like what? Things. <laughs> One of the things that's being thrown out right now is uh, um, a book club idea of, but not necessarily just random book clubs, but to more of a focused book club, maybe going with the um, Skeptical or Wire Presents, you know, see if it's CFI related kind of stuff. So, you know. I, 
um, CFI LA has a book club. It's yeah. run by um, Ross Blotcher. And they have a Zoom and live. Right. So we're so looking can, for stuff like that. So I'll talk to Ross, but we'll see. But that's kind of like something in the mind. Anyway, we should move on because we'll never get done. Okay. The first book you can read for your book club is the book that made us all atheists, the Bible. The Bible. <laughs> no, we never. But get it's that super long that. and boring. It's so and violent. I don't know. If can, can I cannot it. read two pages of the Bible. It to me, it's like word salad. It it's makes like wordle. It's like wordle, 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 yeah, wordle. You're gonna love Leviticus. I agree, Robin. I just look at it. And I go, this is not. This is not prose. This is not. There's nothing here. Oh, you have to Le read. Blank? You have to read Revelation when you're stoned. Yeah, okay. Leviticus, okay. Leviticus was written is written by uh, someone who was stoned. So. Leviticus is coherent yeah, compared to do, to first. Revelation. I have the children's version. I just look at pictures and I said, "How can they get all the animals in the world on Noah's Ark?" And my mother couldn't answer that question. So I just started thinking for myself at like age six or seven or something. Yeah. Um, it was the Tower of Babel that did it for me. Go ahead, Carl. The most puzzling thing to me was how the uh, children, Adam and Eve, the sons of Adam and Eve found wise when only Adam and Eve were the creation. <laughs> you yeah, they must have looked different. When I was a kid. <laughs> they must have looked different and we're all inbred. That's the only right. way it could be. That, yeah. that explains some people. Or there are other <laughs> creations that weren't mentioned. That I read a few pages of the Gospel of Matthew one time, and I thought, this is a description of a schizophrenic person. <laughs> <laughs> so if you think about Adam and Eve, if you assume that they had other children that were female, you still have to concede that they had incest. They were inbred. <laughs> and, 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 but, and, you know, they'll defend that and say, oh, but that time it was okay. But if you suggest, well, maybe some of the kids also had it with Adam and Eve, they'll flip mm -hmm. their lid. Well, yes, so is that, that your category, Carl? <laughs> but, but, but then we that's the name of the category. Bottleneck can, with can we no move one. on? Yeah, we're it's trying. Seemingly, yeah. seemingly <laughs> random celebrities. There, there, there may be a theme related to all these answers. Maybe there have something to do with Adam and Eve. No. Oh, well, it could be. Oh, sorry. Seemingly random celebrities. All right, who's going to hit the mute hammer? Nobody. We've been doing good. We trust people now. Sort of. We can meet right. eventually. Press would verify. Number one, this performer's career successfully spanned vaudeville, the golden age of radio, film, and television. They died at the age of 100 in 1996. Okay. This next one's a long one. This person is a musician, composer, songwriter, and actor or actress. Their lyrics often focus on the underbelly of society and are delivered in their trademark deep gravelly voice. Their songs include 1976's Christmas Cards from a Hooker in Minneapolis, and The Piano Has Been Drinking, Not Me, from the same year. In film, they played Renfield in 1992's Bram Stoker's Dracula, Doc Heller in the 1999 film Mystery Men, and a prospector in the 2018 film the Ballad of Buster Scruggs. Number three. This person is an American singer, songwriter, musician, and composer who is the first artistic advisor to the National Symphony Orchestra at the Kennedy Center in DC since May of 2017. They were the front and pianist of an intentionally inaccurately named alternative rock trio from 1993 to 2000, and again in the early 2010s during the reunion. The trio's biggest hit was the 1997 song, Brick. Brick, that's from Father um, Ted. Number four. Brick. <laughs> this British actor or actress has over a hundred acting credits on imdb.com. They played A. Veidt in the 2019 limited series Watchmen, the titular character in the 2004 version of The Merchant of Venice, Hans Gruber's sibling in the 1999 film Die Hard with a Vengeance, and Scar in The Lion King from 1994. Number five. We just have to mute Susan. <laughs> Probably yeah, best known for their 1977 to 79 role in the sitcom Three's Company, this actor or actress appeared in the films Ocean's Eleven, the original, It's a Mad, Mad, Mad World, 63, 
PT-109, 63. The Graduate, 67. Bullet, 68. And Catch-22. Oh, I forgot the year in Catch-22, but that's fine. Note for Rob, although this answer fits the theme, it is ever so slightly different <laughs> from all the other answers. Just so Rob doesn't get frustrated when he says, it doesn't exactly match the other ones. <laughs> Rob, are you there? <laughs> Rob, you're on mute. Um, He's yeah. there and muted. That's quite okay. I don't know any of these so far at all, and I'm sure I won't know any to go. So Number six. You might know this one. This actor-actress has appeared in films such as Thunderbolt and Lightfoot, Starman, and King Kong. Now, why would Rob know that? He recently had a round that featured the King Kong movie. Oh, Number seven, this actor-actress appeared in numerous Disney films. They had top billing in the 1960 film Pollyanna and received double billing in The Parent Trap of 1961. Number eight. On November 12th, 2021, a judge terminated the conservatorship of this pop star, effectively ordering their former conservatives to leave them alone. Number nine. This African-American actor or actress has had much success in Hollywood, starting with their first feature film role in 1986's Wildcats, starring Goldie Hawn, but not as much success convincing the IRS or federal courts that the income of U.S. citizens is not taxable, and in 2008 was sentenced to three years in jail for willfully failing to file tax returns. And finally... Number 10, this person is a television personality, model, producer, writer, and actor or actress. They began their career as a model at the age of 15 and was the first African-American to be featured on the cover of the Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Issue. And with that, I will open the room. Is Paula okay, so not assigned to a room? I will put her in a room right now. Okay. Pala, 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 la, 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 la. Pala, 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 la, 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 la. Okay. I'm going to my room. Thanks, Susan. You're welcome. You got a sound effect with that. You should be. Uh, I think. Hello, team. I know two. Okay. Hi. Which ones do you know? Bailey Mills in seven. Which one? Good job. The actor Seven. actress in the numerous Disney films. She had the top billing in Pollyanna, received double billing because she played twins. Twins. And then the other one, number eight, is Britney Spears, obviously. Yeah. Cast um, Britney at this time, huh? I think number nine is Wesley Snipes. And number four is Jeremy Irons. Yes, that's it. That's who that is. Okay, I'm going to delete the questions off here because they are big. Uh, well, I like having the qu the questions. Okay. Asking, she likes the questions. What Wendy says. <laughs> no, do you know what? Um, whatever. I don't care. I have a um, human, I can see everything, so it doesn't bother. All right, me. I think number one was George Burns. I could be wrong, but that's what I thought of. Let me read it again. Pardon? Yeah, that's the first person I thought of, too, because I think he died at 100. Yeah, that's why I thought. Fun. That makes total sense. That's what I thought whenever I was reading it. You're right. Okay. Sounds about right. Okay, let me read some of these others. I think I see the theme. Do you? Bird, everybody's, irons, mirrors. everybody's last name is a plural of a noun. Oh, come on. Oh. It can't be that. Burn is not a noun. A burn can be a noun. A burn? A burn, yes. Burn. Oh, oh, like a burn on the arm. Okay. Like, not like yeah. a, oh, hey, I burned you. No. 
Uh, <laughs> composer, I, songwriter. Number two, number three. Voice. Oh, I don't know what number two is, that's for sure. Holy moly. No. Gravelly voice. I've seen, I can see the actor, but I don't I've know. I've seen Mystery Men a few times. It's really good. Oh, yeah, I, I don't it's know. The only thing I've seen. Okay. So maybe with a short name with an S on it, like it's a noun with an S on it. Uh, yeah. Uh, Hills. No idea. I'm trying to think of an, an inaccurately named alternative rock trio. I know what number five is. That's um, Mr. Farley. Oh. Yeah. Is that the actor's name? Not the actors, no. That's oh. the character's name. Okay. I cannot remember. He's a graduate? Yeah. I remember him in Ocean's Eleven. Yeah. I bet it ends in S. Oh, no, it says it might not exactly fit. Thunderbolt and Lightfoot. Yeah, and Starman was... Um... Oh, what's his, I'm trying to remember, his, um, his father was in, um, was an a, a TV actor who was, and the whole family is a bunch of actors. Yeah, um, that's, um, uh, Bridges, oh, Bridges, Bridges, Jeff Bridges. Bridges? Yeah, okay. And it ends Jeff, with okay. Jeff Bridges. Bridges. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's very good. You yeah. pull that out. Yeah. That's six. Um, you know, there's another actress that was named Wills. Do you remember that one? No. That fits the theme, Wills. I like um it does. What was it? can't remember but the, anyway i remember that last name as an actor or something else barbara wills um i don't know wendy is that ring a bell you're in hollywood area <laughs> you guys yeah. all know these actors well because you can't go anywhere without driving and seeing these giant billboards somewhere and everybody's having a retro oh my gosh we're gonna have found a music or we're gonna have this, or it's it's just all Hollywood down there all the time. Well, but it's the um, industry that supports the community, you know. Right. Like a, it's um, that's why and, I think it's ingrained in you, and you probably don't know it. If you were hypnotized, we would probably know all of these so easily. Um, well, Brad worked in the studios. He worked at Universal. Yeah. Okay. Um, but it's actually, you know, what's Waters? interesting? It's, it's actually a, a, a union town. Like the, the, all of those people that work on the shows are in unions. Mm -hmm. There was a Waters, wasn't there? Somebody Waters. John Waters. Wait a minute. Don, okay. Don Nickel. What was it? Isn't it Nichols? Nickel? Oh, oh, uh, Nichols was, uh, the woman from, um, Star Trek. Um, Michelle oh. Nichols. Michelle Nichols, isn't that her name? Michelle Nichols. Michelle, Michelle Nichols. Was it a Nichols? It's Nichols. Okay, because that fit any of these categories? I, I just saw don't her at, um, think so. Yeah, Susan, Susan, uh, we we saw her at um uh Dragon Con. Oh. She was in a wheelchair. She, they were pushing her around in a wheelchair. Oh, I didn't know that. We, we, you were. I don't remember that. 
I saw her there. You sure I was? You've been to Dragon Con, I think, one time I wasn't there. No, because I was only there once, and you and Anne oh. and Mark were there. Well, that's so, right. This person is a television woman. Yeah, that's pretty nice. The first African American. It's a woman. Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue. So it was a woman, probably. Yes. And I don't know. Okay, I'm going to go back and look at the questions again. So, number two Gravelly voice. So it's not Rod Stewart. Christmas card from no. Minneapolis. And the piano's been drinking, not me. This is a lot easier when you know the answer. If um, you knew the answer, you'd go, oh, yeah, well, that's definitely Zonzo. Um, I can, I know who Doc Heller in 1991, the mystery, I know who that was. Ben Stiller, and he was the idiot, uh, idiot guy. The, yeah. Um, no, can't remember. Shoot. It was an awful movie anyways, Mystery Man. I regret seeing it. I am at a complete loss for these uh, remaining questions. Yeah. I'm just trying to think of names that would fit, and then you guys, it might trigger something because that would probably be the only way I could help. Um, well you guys haven't made any progress since i was last year sorry yeah <laughs> it's your own team Carl. i know uh, yeah. Some things we know the theme at least you think so oh yeah they were the front and pianist of an inner Intentionally and accurately named alternative rock trio. You, Jones has an S, but it's not. No, that doesn't make sense. Wheels. How's everybody else doing? Um, better than you. Oh. How do you know? Better than your team, you mean? Well, there's at least one team that has a perfect score. Oh. I, hate them. I hate them already. You hate them already. That's funny. Um, waters, 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 waters. Wilder. Uh, I wish I knew what number five was, but I don't. Uh, okay. I picture him. Two Mel Brooks. Oh. Mel Brooks? That fits the theme. For number two? Maybe. No, it's not Mel Brooks. But Brooks no. fits the theme for sure. Yeah, Mel but Brooks. it's not Mel Brooks. No, no, it is not. Huh. He is not a musician. We'll put Brooks for anything we don't have <laughs> at the end. Even the black man who's a oh at the age of 15 on Sports Illustrated, that would be hilarious. Mel Brooks. Well, let's throw in Michelle Nichols. Nichols there. Just Nichols. Michelle Nichols. Well, it fits the theme. I don't think Sports Illustrated had this in like 1950 something. <laughs> yeah. Because that's how old she Mel was, Brooks uh, fits. We could put him in a swimsuit. No, Michelle, He's, number 10. No, it can't be her. She wouldn't have been. Mm. Well, no, wait a second. 
<laughs> she could have been a, she could have started her career as a model at the age of 15 and she could have been on a cover of sports illustrated when she was a little older she was yeah, hot. it's true the two were not related necessarily right? i think wendy could be right it's better than what we have now yeah and, and if it's and the same, wrong it's it's no more wrong than leaving it blank true uh probably best known for the well, yeah i know who the guy i know who the guy is you can picture him huh but i picture him but i just oh, can't mickey remember rooney? his name no not it's mickey rooney no who was the guy who was in Tiffany's uh, Breakfast at Tiffany's who played the Chinese man who wasn't Chinese? That was that Don Rickles. Oh God, that was that it was, was so bad. Horribly was that was? racist. Was that who it was? Don Rickles? No, it was no, but that's not it. Rickle wrinkles wrinkles. Oh, that doesn't fit. I don't know what a wrinkle is. No, it's the name is so obscure. No, the guy who played the Chinaman in the uh, Tiffany, he was a famous actor. He married a very famous child actress who was much younger than him. He was a very famous guy. His name was. I wouldn't would doubt it. Wendy, help me. Which one are you looking at? Well, I was just thinking of the Breakfast of Tiffany's, the guy who played the Chinese guy. Was that Don Rickles? I ever saw. Don't tell anybody. I don't think I ever saw Breakfast at Tiffany. Oh, you would love that movie, except for the Chinese person part. It's a, it's a <laughs> wonderful movie. You would you would actually love it. It's just right up reality. Okay. I think you should watch it. Okay. That was Audrey Hepburn. Yes. Amazing woman. Um, Catherine. I think you should put Mel Brooks for number two because we have nothing else and we're running out of time. No, that's or three, not, three, three. It, it's not Mel Brooks for number two. That's yeah. That's I I know favorite. it's absolutely not Mel Brooks. Okay, well three yeah. Mel Brooks because I don't know um, any fits. Okay, number three. I don't think that he, that Mel Brooks is the answer. For, oh, I, I I'm absolutely positive it's not. But okay, and then what is? Number five is that that guy from Three's Company. That's not Mel Brooks either. No. no, no. What was this? The main guy's name is Chevy Chase. No, not Chevy Chase. Uh, who played the main character? What was his name? Oh, the boy that rented the apartment. Yeah, the, the main character. His name was um, John Ritter. John Ritter. Yeah. No. No, I know John it's not John Ritter, Ritter but it's yeah. the guy who played this landlord, right? Landlord, yeah. Yeah, it's the landlord, the first one. Not Don Knott. Not Don, it wasn't Don Knott. Don Knott. Hey, Don, not, not Don Knott. Hey, Knott. Hey, no. Knott. That fits. Does it? Hey, Was hey, Don no. Knott's in the original? Put it down. Don Knott's, okay. Very good, Vincent. You pulled that out too. Well, I don't know. I remember some of these, so. Okay, so. Um, Number three is definitely not Mel Brooks, that's for sure. Oh, do you know what? Is the, does it, the last name end in a Z, like P-Z? Um, Because at the end, that parenthetical comment is the note for Rob that it fits the theme, but is ever so slightly different from all the That's other. Two T's. So it's not a knot. Well, it's uh, I was. It's not Don knots. That no, I think it is Don knots. But the way it doesn't fit is that it has two T's. How is that a problem? Because it doesn't exactly fit the noun, because that's yeah, not how not. Isn't that number five? It doesn't exactly fit with the other. Yeah, other that's what Wendy just said. Right. That's well, why that's, I think that fits, because it's not exactly right. Is uh, that guy's last name, did it, does it end in PZ instead of S? No, but that's how it fits. It has two T's. Well, we definitely didn't get 10 out of 10 on this one. Holy moly. Yeah. Oh, well. We've been here. Um, out of the park up until now. 
Boy, that's frustrating. I'm just going to have to say, there's people that, these other people I've probably never heard of. Great team. You guys did a great job. Team effort. Just very tedious for the poor yeah. passengers. Yeah, and you're they wondering, didn't oh my wanna, God, oh my God. Like, yeah. oh God, we go Normally they would dump fuel, but they couldn't dump fuel because they they were worried about the plane blowing up. Yeah, yeah right, exactly. That was hard. Yeah, we did 10 out of 10. Yeah, this was a... So it's very tough. Um, but it's um, a team effort. I tell you what, that was that was really good. It was fun. Pull the weight on that room, in our room. Okay. There he is. Number one. Yep. George, George Burns. Burns. Yeah. Apparently, George Burns with a passion of fire. Number two. Whoops, one second. Copy, not cut. Control X. Tom waits. Control Z. Patiently while we go through this round. <laughs> oh, have you been oh, working wait. on this all day? Ben folds his laundry while we play this round. Ben folds. Everybody has been spinning. Yay, Paula. Yay, Paula. All five pieces. <laughs> I've never Unfolds heard of it. While Jeremy irons the other clothes. Oh. Yes. Somebody is. Oh my God. Apparently, oh. while this was happening, he was going down some steps and Norman fell. Oh. Oh. Yeah. He's got five more to go. Let's see how this ends, man. Oh my God. Now, you know, there it's might have been joke conflict in slow motion. When I didn't need to be brought together, so Jeff bridges the group together. <laughs> uh, at least I got that one right. Jesus. Uh, well, Haley mills around and sees how things go. Haley, oh yeah. You know he's been working on this all day. But violence breaks out and Britney spears someone. Ah. <laughs> that escalated quickly. Her uh, father. And in retaliation, <laughs> Wesley snipes somebody. <laughs> <laughs> There's some. This is like a long extended dad joke. <laughs> <laughs> uh, doesn't really tie in that well, but uh, the winner is she has all the money and Tyra banks her dollars for a later day. Oh, I love it. Oh. That was a fun category, Carl. That was good. Loved Great it. Great category. <laughs> that was really good. Except uh, swear the Don Knotts fit. I just wish I could have thought of Ben Folds 5. Oh, yeah. Well. Very good. I've never heard good of Good job, him. team. The, that was that the, was the, hard. Appropriately named trio Ben Folds Five. And if, if anybody is interested, <laughs> there like is a Thompson word doc with the entire round in the chat. Very good. good Very good, Carl. Ooh. Oh my god. Clever. <clears throat> and if you look at my background, there's a George Burning while Tom waits while Ben folds and Jeremy Irons. Oh, oh. this, this yeah. is inspired by uh, something Jeff Wag post a, that picture Jeff Wag posted on Facebook like in 2007 and recently reposted uh, in the last few weeks. So you can All thank right. Jeff. You can thank Jeff Wag for the inspiration did for you, this category. Did you have that picture up the whole time, or did you just no, no, I it? just okay. I didn't want the, I didn't want to give anything away. Yeah. What's funny is if had you had it up the whole time, yeah. like we had all the the ones except for the Benfold, I still wouldn't have gotten Benfold <laughs> even with this picture being I, up. I have no idea. I've that. never heard of who he is. I I've heard of him, but is. they're they're totally not a band I think of uh mm -hmm. regularly. So I feel I feel okay about the fact that I didn't know all these because <laughs> okay. I wouldn't know. Okay, so let's go with Putin. Have you considered annexing Saint? Petersburg, Florida. Ten. Wow. Ten. Well, that's going to make it a lot closer because you guys were in the in the bottom there. So, how about when Russia panics, it will end. Uh, we got nine. Okay, and curse you, curse you here, and Mar-a-Lago still stands. Got ten. Ooh, Ooh. nice. Oh, tens this looky, game. Wookie, wookie, wookie. Jackie, are you here? Where's Jackie? Nine. Don't sound disappointed. Because Carl's team, the team yeah. that Carl's on, the salacious sound of succulent sausages got uh, six. 
Oh, oh my God. God. Do, do to your oh, team, God. Carl. It's the that curse. Wow. The curse. Wow. Wow. Great cursing, Carl. Great, <laughs> great job, Carl. Wow. 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 Curse, but we were really close until that moment. So, Woo-hoo, last wow. place. Whoa, that was fun. What a Kidding. shame. <laughs> ah, crap. Okay, so where's the Wordle dude, Mike Wordle? Okay, here we go. So. For everyone who's like sick of all these pop culture rounds and won like a nice science or history round, Forget you it. are not in luck. Yes. <laughs> 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 in fact, there was like, Good. there was a couple of, I, I was afraid that some of my questions going to be duplicated in Karen's round and in uh, oh, no. uh, Kevin's round. But I love, um, that, I love that I have no idea what any, and nobody else knows what everybody else has. The All right, so the uh, this category is going to be um, different actors in the same role. So I'm going to give you cool. a list of actors for each question, just like in uh, Kevin's where you had the three Jokers there. Um, and you have to tell me the Joker, who it is. Unless indi- indicated the these actors, these are all movies feature films except oh if it's if not i will indicate it in the question um these are all probably fictional characters that's <laughs> a small hint for one of them um and not every version of the character is included so like if it was sherlock holmes there's like a hundred sherlock holmes so i didn't put every sherlock holmes and in fact i may not have put the most well-known one because that would give it away too easily you know, basil rathbone all right, so let me go. So, n- number one, Benjamin Cumberbatch, George <laughs> Sanders, Vincent Price on radio, Roger Moore on TV, and Val Kilmer. So, what character did all four of those gentlemen play? Um, number two. Oh, and I, and sometimes, sometimes, like especially, there are loose adaptations, so the character is, has a different name. But it's uh, if, if if it's another adaptation of the same source material or the same essential character. So the number two is Alicia Silverstone renamed in a more loose adaptation. Kate Beckinsale, Pe- Kate Beckinsale on a TV movie. Gwyneth Paltrow and Anya Taylor Joy. Number three, Douglas Fairbanks, George Hamilton, and Anthony Hopkins all played the same character in three movies. Number four, Joan Tetzel on Broadway, Louise Fletcher, who just died this week, and Sarah Paulson on TV played the same character. You didn't write this question before she died, did you? Um, You're not responsible. I don't remember when I came up with this originally, this this okay. particular. Came up with the theme a while ago. I don't know if I added this question. You didn't kill her. Before after she died. It's not your fault. I killed cool, you I'm sorry. Five. <laughs> uh, again, George Burns from the last round. Every round. There's been something from every round that's sort of related here. George Burns, Morgan Freeman, and Alanis Morissette all played the same character. Hmm. Oh, at least I don't know. Oh, okay. Number six, Jodie Foster, Julianne Moore, and Rebecca Breeds on TV. And again, if I don't say specifically what medium it was, it's a movie. Number seven, Art Carney on Broadway, Jack Lemon, Ron Glass on TV, and Thomas Lennon on TV. Number eight. And this one is kind of a weird one. These 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 women all play Ju- the, the the names are Ju- Janet Gaynor, Judy Garland, Barbara Streisand, Stephanie Germanata, and they played the same essential character in basically four. There's four movies. 
I, and you just I need to name the movie because they're all the characters all have a different name, but it's it's three three remakes of the same original movie. Uh, number nine, Judy Garland again, Diana Ross, and Firuza Balk and Ashanti. I'll play the same character. I think Ashanti may have been a TV movie. Actually, I, sh I should double. Farouz Ball also may have been a TV movie, but it may have been a real. I'll gonna. I'll look that up and let you know. And then that this last one is also another kind of weird one. This is the most. This is the one that I think everyone will get nine, and this last one you will not get. The names are Robert Redford, George C. Scott with a different name, Paul Lamott, Christopher Lambert, also with a different name, Herbert Nout in a German movie and Martin Lawrence. And I think with a different name, we're looking, these, these character, these actors all played, there's a series of books with a, with a particular character who's what we're looking for. There were several movies, all these were starred in movies based on this series of books. So I'm looking for the character's name from the books. Fictional character. This one happens to be a fictional character, yes. So there's, think of a series of books. There were a bunch of movies made based on those books. In the book, the character has just the same name. And in the movie, in a, some of the movies, he's named this. In some of the movie adaptations, they change the name. But these four all, actors all played the same character. And that's it. I expect everyone to get nine. This is going to be really hard, at least for me. All right. You know, I was wondering, I wonder if people all over the world have not yet found that we're writing all these amazing trivia categories every week and, and somebody's going to stumble <laughs> on it. Somebody who does trivia, like extraordinary, like a TV show. They're going to be like, you know, I'm getting all these things from this one channel that has nobody watching these videos and they, they, they'll watch it and they'll go, oh, that's what we're getting all over. We're a trivia gold mine. Yeah, and they don't, nobody even knows it, but you guys are already doing all the work. It's amazing. Is someone going to give me the ability to jump around? Somebody, I give it to you. Okay. You don't have it? Yeah, I probably do. Somebody, me. It's just me. So oh, yeah. I'm coming. Yeah, and we, okay, so there's still just three of us then. Oh, thanks, Ron. <laughs> I know one of these, so fine. All right, well, that could be helpful then. It could be, or you guys already probably already know it. Oh, no, no, no. I, I was just uh, off. Eve. Oh. I was thinking, you know, I've got to call Jeff and I should call okay. Steve. Are you guys going to get all of these, except for the last one, which I think is too hard for anyone to get, but it's like my favorite little weird beats of trivia, so I had to include it. Uh, all right. Should we start at one? You're in, you need, yeah, here you go. Okay, okay. Just... Does anybody know anything for sure? I know. I know. A I know a few for sure. I know nine, and that's it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I know nine. Also, what do you okay. think it is? Judy Garland. I mean, uh, um, Dorothy. Dorothy Gale. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Now I'm gonna go have something. To eat. <laughs> five well, no. is God. Yeah, five is God. Oh, yeah, I, I put oh that. that's right. Yeah. Yeah, and, and six six is mm -hmm. Clarice Starling. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, fictional character probably not yeah. Clarice Starling, but that other one. All right, I am going to go pop around to the other room see how they're doing. Come on, these are all. They, they, I thought these would be easy. <laughs> if you follow me, <laughs> yeah, if, if you were still in the group, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know any actors or actresses. Almost none. Well, number two, I think, is Emma because uh, Alicia Silverstone played in Clueless. That makes sense. Was based upon oh. a, uh, no, a novel which I thought was Emma. That could which, be. And, and I think Anna Taylor Joy just did a movie with her. I think that's the novel. That's a good one. And I think three is Zorro. Cool. I know, right. You can watch I know Douglas later. Fairbanks played Zorro go and Anthony Hopkins did Zorro. Oh, that's good. Really good. So I don't need to be here. Ron, you got this. Billy. Bill uh, Bill now, I can, now I can shut up because I'm done. <laughs> Louise Fletcher, nurse, nurse Ratchet. <laughs> oh, no. 
Well, there is this TV show called Ratchet that's out now. Oh. But I don't know who's playing it. Yeah. But you know what? That could be a good guess on that one. Ratchet? It, yeah, I think it's uh, it's Nurse Ratchet. Okay. Because Sarah Paulson is, is like a current actor, actress, and she may be playing the part on the TV show. Oh, okay. I that don't was... know who Joan Tetzel is, but there could have been a mm-hmm. One Flew of the Cuckoo's Nest Broadway show. Yeah. Okay. Jodie Foster. Oh, we got that we one. Got that's, that one. That's, that's the Clarice Plus... Starling. Starling? Yeah, Clarice Starling from oh. uh, Silence of the Lambs. Oh, okay. At least I'm pretty sure that that Julianne Moore played her in a later version, one of the sequels. Could Seven be Dragnet? Was that on T- Was that on Broadway? Uh, but dude. what's the character? Is that? Yeah, what's it, the main guy? Jack um, Webb. Joe Friday. Oh, Joe Friday. Uh, I thought Jack Webb was an actress. Oh yeah, Joe Friday. That Joe was Friday the... was the character. Jack Webb was the the, the guy who yeah. created it. Joe Friday, good. But but I didn't think Jack Lemmon ever played that role. I only know Ron Glass from a couple of shows, so. Well, maybe Jack Lemon did. Unless, could this be the odd couple? Because um, Art Carney, I think, did the odd couple on Broadway. Jack Lemon did the movie. Oh, that seems to fit. So, what's the guy's name? So it's either uh, Oscar Madison or uh, Felix Unger. And Lemon played the neat guy, which was Felix Unger, I thought. And so did Jack Lemon. He was Uh, always the guy. Yeah. So, I I mean, my guess would be Felix Unger, but that's Uh, my guess. And I know there's a TV series around it, too. That's good. Good. Which one was that? Seven. And it's Jack Lemon? Felix Unger. Oh, Felix Unger. Oh, Felix Unger. Unger was the character. You do have an official scribe, right? I'm taking it, yeah. Okay. I think Jane is too. Okay. Janet Gaynor and Julie Garland. That would be mu- music. Well, yes. Well, Stephanie music. Uh, Germanata is uh, Lady Gaga. So this is whatever oh, star is born. Very but I don't good. know what the, what's the character's name. Dolly? No. Well, what's the property? Well, it's it's the the lead from St- uh, Star is Born because Barbara Streisand played oh. it, Judy Garland played it, Stephanie right. Germanotta is uh, Lady Gaga. I'll well, it says it. name the movie, so is it just a Star oh, is Born? Star is Born. I didn't see that. Sorry, I, th- I thought you had to name the actual character. She was yeah, the, Star- dead, the dead woman, the dead wife. <laughs> that was her yeah. name. That's right. <laughs> I don't think she had a name. She's just somebody that died. Yeah. What did she die of? Was it a cancer or something got her? Well, she doesn't die in the movie. What? Not in A Star is Born. I thought, it's, oh, A Star, I'm thinking of, what was the other one I was thinking of? The one where they cried. A Star is Dead? No, <laughs> the other one where everybody cries. It means you never have to say you're sorry. No, 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 I'm thinking of that other Black one. Black Beauty? Saw. No, that other one where the wife dies and everybody's crying all the time, and right. and it's a story about this guy and his wife dies. A love is a love, a love of the born, a love, a love of the born. Uh, love that's the in the lady parts movie show. show so. <laughs> <It was good. laughs> well, it has to be a musical, love, because love. because all these people sing. Yeah, I mean, number eight, I'm pretty sure is a star is born. So. Okay. But we have to think of the name of the. No, actually, it says it's all different names. Name the movie. So that one oh, you written. Oh, oh yeah, because okay. I was. That's what I was thinking. Is what the heck's her name in the show? But it says yeah. name the movie. Oh, okay, all right. 
So what does that leave us with? One in 10? One in yep. four and 10. Well, we have four? Four, we put Nurse to Ratchet. Okay. One seems like we should know that. Seems pretty obvious. Right? Especially with Vincent Price. It's a yeah. long running thing. Well, it could be somebody famous, like, a, I mean, a what kind of character could it possibly be? Like a Santa Claus or, you know, it's not, it's not um, Sherlock Holmes. Could be Watson or It could be Sherlock Holmes. Could it be Spider-Man? No. Not with George Sanders. Or Vincent That'd Price. That'd be hilarious. Or Vincent Price, yeah. That'd be he would have been too. a terrible Spider-Man. <laughs> it would have been hilarious. <laughs> um, Vincent Price. Oh, it was on the radio. That's why I'm thinking of the ra the old radio series, like the Phantom. Yeah, it would have been old, or yeah, only the only the Shadow knows. Yeah, and the George Sanders is another one who's been you know dead for a few years. Yeah, Roger Moore. Could it be? Could it be that? There's only Shadow? been one modern Shadow remake, and it was in like the 80s or the 90s. So I don't think we'd get Roger Moore and Val Kilmer playing the shadow. Yeah, if there's only, if there's only the one, yeah. Hmm. Well, he's on TV. The shadow. Only the shadow. Um, it is something old, though. Let me think. Gotta be. So are there any characters that could have been like... A, yeah, it could like be like Dracula or something like that. Yeah, something like that. Dracula would be a good guess because that's a good voice for Vincent Price. Did Val yeah. Kilmer play it? Roger Moore played Dracula? Oh, how about that? Oh, no, that doesn't fit. I was going to say the guy who goes around and kills and kisses everybody. Casanova. I think Dracula is a good guess. Uh, Dracula is a good one. I think Roger Moore would be sexy in that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I thought Roger Moore was very, very good looking. George Saunders? You know, I don't I'm even thinking know of somebody is. else. I'm not thinking of George Saunders. Is, I'm thinking of, okay, no, that's not how I'm thinking of. No, he, he was an actor back, I think, in the right. 40s, 50s. Right, I was 50s. thinking of that comedian, George Burns, is what I was thinking of. <laughs> I'm thinking George no. Burns. No, no, that, was, yeah. that was in the previous round. Oh, right. yeah, I, guess I, agree. I think Dracula is a good guess. It's old. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Redford, George C. Scott. George C. Scott played in a lot of war movies the one who doesn't fit at all is martin lawrence the heck did martin play well what are the other if martin lawrence wasn't there what would be the answer well i don't know either but like that's the odd <laughs> man out to me why who is he he's a african-american stand-up who had a tv yeah. show in the 90s right maybe i think it's a different big... lawrence martin martin lawrence maybe yeah, this is a different Martin. Well, he was in Black Knight. Do you think that could be it? <laughs> How about Blazing Saddles? F Troop. Mm -hmm. Well, it says based yeah. upon a series of books. Yeah, the series of books. Oh. Hardy Boys. <laughs> could be. Nobody's buying that, huh? <laughs> I mean, I can't think of a lot of book series that I can't also rule out. Game it's of not Lord of the Rings. It's not Narnia. Well, what was uh, Christopher Lambert was known for one movie, which he was awful in, but um, it was like a uh, God, what was it called? It's like a sorcerer or something like that, but that's no, Highlander. Somebody drives a dragon. Oh, Highlander, dragon. yeah. Oh, he you know what? It might be Highlander. Which is that a book series? Well, there was a series of movies or TV shows called Highlander, but I don't know if there was actually yeah, a I don't know if there was books. I don't know anything else Christopher Lambert ever did. Could we have all 10? Doubt it. <laughs> I think we did good. We got a good we're answer. We're only yeah, missing we two. Okay. No, we've got Dracula for one. Oh, that's true. We did do Dracula, yeah. I mean, that seems right it's old and <laughs> he did say he gave the example he says i'm not going to do sherlock holmes because there's been so many people have been played sherlock holmes it'd be too much but dracula fit the reason why he gave that explanation is because somebody like dracula 
That's a good one. Yeah. I'm I'm channeling. You could have said I want you to pick someone besides Sherlock Holmes, but <laughs> <laughs> he already thought this was gonna be easy. Yeah. Except for 10. So I'm impressed if it's Highlander. You guys did really good. But yeah, Martin Lawrence is Highlander. No. He wouldn't survive. I have no idea. Like I said, I don't know anything else Lambert's ever done. I'm trying to think of George C. Scott, what he's done that would have been from a book series. Is Highlander a... Oh, the, really award? the character's name. name. The so is the character's series. name Highlander? No, that was the series. It was... Oh, oh, he, so he, was this, he was this yeah. mystical Scottish guy that kept getting resurrected. Yeah, oh, uh, I could get Mr. the name McCurner if I worked face? on it. Mr. Scottman's face. Mr. McScott face. All right, book series is though. Tom Swift. <laughs> Too old. I've been waiting for them to come up with some Tom Swift movies, but I haven't seen any yet. I have a collection of them. What about um, the guy who wrote Tarzan and also wrote John Carpenter of Mars or, not, or uh, uh, the whatever Mars film? Oh, yeah. Um... Could it be one of his book series? Is got to turn his name suddenly. Yeah. After you said Tom Swift, all I got is Victor Appleton <laughs> in my brain now because he wrote all Johnny the Tom Appleseed. Swift. Johnny Appleseed. <laughs> no buyers on that. Nobody's going to take that one. Tell me, tell me you got most of them right. Johnny Appleseed. We think right? we're missing two. The first and last. Johnny Appleseed. We're going to put the it. doctor for all of them. <laughs> yeah. And Johnny Appleseed. Doctor Who. I, I, I well, heard his full name is Doctor Who. Yes. Well, the new doctor is black, so maybe it's Martin Lawrence. I think it's a black woman, isn't it? Well, maybe Martin Lawrence, I who I don't know. Is a female? I don't know. Can't imagine Robert Redford was Doctor Who. No, I don't think these were Doctor Who. I, I told you, Johnny Appleseed. Mike, Mike said this is his one of his favorite things. So yeah, only because it's Mike, weird and obscure. That's why I, I, I sort of expect that everyone's going to get nine and no one weird will get and 10. obscure like your shirt. <laughs> well, I only know of one show that Christopher Lambert ever did, and I didn't think it was a book series. So these are all movies. Almost all the ones he said it was a Hardy Boy. Number ten. Unless, I, unless it says otherwise. Yeah. Could be. Series. Could be Nancy Drew. So all these guys yeah. played Nancy Drew? <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't that be great? Why don't they make movies like this? I would love to see George C. Scott play Nancy Drew. <laughs> Robert Redford. <laughs> he could do it. <laughs> Seriously, somebody should be making a movie on this. God, this <laughs> is so brilliant. I tell you, our trivia team, somebody should be mining us for all we, we could, you know, if they don't want to star us, they could just say, okay, I got to tune in this week. Some some TV show somewhere is going, I need to get ideas for writing whatever. I'm going to tune into this obscure mm -hmm. trivia team and get all these ideas. I don't know who it is out there who's copying our stuff, but boy, they should be. That, <laughs> You know, yeah, I think you can start bringing people back before they. George C. Scott go berserk on the Hardy two. Boys. Yeah, George C. Scott was not or one of Nancy the Hardy Drew, Boys. Nancy Drew, Trixie Belden. You bring him back. You're in charge. Do you think oh, Bad you Boys that? could have been based? On bad, books boys, bad Boys, Bad Boys. What you gonna do? But we're still looking for the characters' what name. What you gonna do when they come yeah. for you? I think that's our only hope is to get. How the about Weird Al Yankovic? No. I don't think he had a series of books either. You could be the character. No. All right. Do I just shape close? Oh, wait. Um, I'm in the right room now. Close all rooms. Mm -hmm. Well, this is the last Karen. No, we have one more category. That's right. All right. Everybody did well. I think most of the groups got eight or nine. Okay. Which is around where we think we are. Yeah. You didn't totally screw your team there. Yeah. Well, Not I think totally. with uh, Dracula for number one, just yeah, that's uh, not as 
Yeah, that one I'm not so sure about. But well, that was yeah. my idea. So just saying, if it's right, you I'll can have credit. We'll give you one is one is kind of hard, I guess. It's oh, not come right. on. <laughs> I need you to learn ventriloquism. All right. Good job, team. All right. All right. Chemicals and stuff. And it just. Uh, Vincent. You know yes, what? What? Chicken butt. <laughs> <laughs> Are you trying to. I gave that one for Caspian. Oh, okay. I think it's five cents a cut. Chicken butt? Five cents a cut. <laughs> we came up with some great ideas that these people should be in movies. Should be in. <laughs> right. Aren't they the last in? one for the last one, we said Robert Redford, George C. Scott, and all these other people could play. And who did we say? Um, Nancy Drew. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I always thought that Sean Penn should be one of the Beavis and Butthead characters in. Uh, Oh, Chandler yeah. from Friends should be the other guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he would look so much well. like the actual characters, like in a live yeah. action version. Yeah. yeah, Chandler from Friends was almost in one of the questions. <laughs> Ooh, psychic! My psychic powers are coming through. <coughs> okay. <coughs> All right. So here's the answers. Number one, Simon Templar, aka the Saint. Ooh. Are we are we good if we just put the saint and didn't put the saint his is fine. Name either in. Simon Templar or the saint or both? Awesome, Number thank you. Two is Emma. Alicia Silverstone was, of course, the star of the movie Clueless, which was loosely based on Emma, the novel by Jane Austen. Really? Uh, yep. Really? Oh. Or was it Number loosely three, based on? Interesting based use on of the word, way. of course. <laughs> Number three. I think, well, I think of the of the of the versions of Emma that this was Alicia Silverstone is probably the most widely seen. Number three is of course is Zorro. Oh, he almost said a play. Yeah, yeah. He almost said a play. The gay blade. Good job, Jamie. George Hamilton. George Hamilton Zorro the gay blade. <laughs> Anthony Hopkins was <sighs> in the Antonio Banderas <laughs> version, uh, where yeah. Anthony Hopkins plays the original Zorro in that, and he. Turns the cape over to Anthony Hopkins, but point as, and go to Antonio the other guy. Banderas. Yes, Antonio Banderas. So I left out Antonio Banderas because I didn't want to make it too easy. Um, <laughs> number four, uh, this is the one I was afraid was going to be in Karen's round because Louise Fletcher did, of course, win an Oscar for playing Nurse Ratchet. Woohoo! Yay. A TV show with Sarah Paulson and Joan Tetzel, who nobody has heard of. Played her on Broadway, but I needed to have at least mm. three. One flow of the cuckoo's nest. Number wow. five, as I said, all of these are probably fictional characters. What? <laughs> 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 probably? Of course, oh God, one and two. Morgan Freeman in Bruce Almighty, and Alanis Morissette in the Kevin Smith of Clerks fame movie Dogma, which is very hard to oh. find because the, the the streaming rights are wrapped up with Harvey Weinstein. I, I, I almost Oops. mentioned the, the movie Oh God in my George Burns question. I have the DVD for Dogma, so if I need to watch it, I can. We'll go to her house. Party at Paula's. <laughs> the, the Alanis Morissette one's very ironic. And number six, <laughs> Harkin is back. I once named... I once had a trivia question that was name five actors who had played either Hannibal Lecter or Hannibal from the A-Team. And Jody Foster, of course, was Clarice Starling in the other Hannibal Lecter movie. In in Silence of Lambs, Julianne Moore, when Jody Foster was too busy to play it in the movie Hannibal, and Rebecca Breeds in the short-lived TV series Clarice. Um, number seven is Felix Unger from The Odd Couple. Yeah, Yay, Hardcore, good Broadway. job. Jack Lemmon in the movie. I left out. Uh, um, Tony Randall. Tony Randall, because that would have given it away. What was Ron Glass Ron, in? Ron Glass, Glass. Also, there was a TV. Uh, there was a with both black actors, and then there was a recent with, as I said, as I promised, uh, uh, Matthew Perry from Friends played uh, Oscar Madison to Thomas Lennon's uh, TV. Fe Felix I remember Alexander. that. Now. Yep. 
We actually went to we actually went to see a play which I had never heard of by the same author. It was called The Female Odd Couple. Oh. I considered I considered putting one of those in as well, but uh, I can see uh, Ron Glass as Felix Unger is perfectly a character with his Marnie Miller character. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> same yeah. character. <laughs> Number eight, Janet Gaynor, Judy Garland, Barbara Streisand, and Stephanie Germanotta, right. better known as Lady, Lady Gaga. Gaga. And again, which will get. Those were all the stars of A Star is Born. Yeah. A love uh, story. That's what I was thinking of. The one where the lady dies and everybody cries. Right? <laughs> the love story. That's not it. I know, love but story. Wasn't it? Yeah, we the love story was right. uh, Don't worry. the woman, nice lady who lived in the dorm with my mom at Wellesley, uh, <laughs> Ali McGraw, was in Love Story. <laughs> I was just thinking that the woman in the movie. Okay. And again, the- Judy Garland again. Diana Ross, Firuza Balk, Ashanti all played uh, Dorothy Gale from Wizard of Oz for the first, well, the Wizard of Oz, The Wiz, the Wiz. Return, Return to, to Oz. Oz, and Muppet Wizard of Oz. Is it yeah, Gale so as in G-A-I-L or G-A-Y-L? L-E. G-A-L-E. G-A-L-E. Where's our Gale? Yeah, um, which is another Gale. word for wind. And that was... And number Our 10, did anyone, does anyone have any idea what number 10 is? Wendy, that's I hard. I didn't have to Sir Lancelot or something, right? We guessed John. We were thinking of Three Days of the Condor. No, it's the Hardy Boys, or it's Nancy Drew. We, we said Lancelot. John. Number 10 is a character named John Dortmunder. It is John? It is John, but we will not accept just John, because yeah. <laughs> I will uh, put a link to the... Uh, Series of novels by mystery author John West, uh, 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 Donald Westlake. Oh, Donald. Um, basically, Westlake. John Dortmund is a career criminal. Each novel is him getting a gang together to pull off a, uh, a heist. Um, Reservoir Dogs? Robert Redford was in The Hot Rock. So, yeah, it's um, not Three Days of the Condor. Okay. We had the hot rock. My husband had the hot rock. We just couldn't put it together. Um, I think uh, Bank Shot was George C. Scott. Mm-hmm. Jimmy the Kid with Gary Coleman and Paul Lamott as Dortmunder. Why Me uh, had Christopher Lambert as Dortmunder. And What's the Worst That Could Happen had Martin Lawrence as Dortmunder with a different name, but based on a Dortmunder novel. So John Dortmunder would have been the... Uh, Answer for that one, and I will put the John, link to the John Dortmund. And everybody John got Pilsner. that one, right? Nobody. Nobody. I didn't hear Carl. any of those movies. <laughs> no, nope, nope. I've read those. They're really fun books. I it, yeah. it didn't. So, quit. did your team get that one? Oh hell no! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. Well, our team didn't get it either. So, I've no. got I've got some I've got left because of course thanks to our no bonus questions i've got a couple of leftovers so maybe i'll do this this round yeah, again see, that was fun another. i like that there's no bonus questions tonight no we no have more, a bonus, bonus round category. there's just no bonus no, questions in the round. Doing, there's only 10 uh, questions for round for bonus, bonus category no bonus <laughs> questions okay oh, 10 questions only what round was that or that was wrong or, or, do you feel like you've been here forever <laughs> <laughs> it is getting long we got to get them off tomorrow today it's I have to go to work in three minutes. Good job. <laughs> Very good job there, Mike Wardle. Fun, Mike. Yeah, good category. Oh. A lot of good categories. Sort of. That was when there was a, in the Sherlock Holmes round a few weeks ago, and she talked about all the different Sherlock Holmeses there were, that sort of Fire gave you. me that idea. Okay. Night, Susie. Um, the salacious sound of succulent sausages. Nine. A lot of nines, I bet. Okay, you're in the lead. Mm-hmm. Um, Putin, have you ever considered annexing St. Petersburg, Florida? Oh, I get it now. St. Petersburg, Florida. <laughs> I <get it. laughs> wow, that's Russian a... geography. <laughs> that's a hell wow, that's a record. For I've never been to St. Petersburg. <laughs> How many else? Yeah, how many of you guys got and, that? And now Three we have an example later. of the Peter principle. I, I, I want to know. Hands That's up rich. about that before. That's rich. Uh, okay, not everybody. Not everybody. I was on the team. It took me a minute. They named it without me. 
There, okay. There's a line in Rain Man. He's laughing at a joke from two hours ago. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get it. Sorry. I was on getting the mathematical. I was concentrating on the colex. 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 Yeah. Colex conjecture. I was. Right. My brain is all there all the time. Okay. Oh. I'm trying to solve it, you know. Uh, <laughs> St. Petersburg people, how many points do you get? Nine. Okay. Mm. You're in the lead. All right. So now let's go down to when Russia panics, Sybil Annex. Nine. When Russia panics, Sybil Annex. Um, up here again. Curse you. Curse you, Marlon. I'm so dead. Curse you, Ian. Nine. Nine. Predicted all nines. Let's see. All right, Jackie. Jackie, where's Jackie? Eight. Uh -oh. Oh. oh, it's your own team. Oh, oh. Look three at way these. tie for second anyway. Look at Not those scores. But yeah. look at these scores. Nine. See, you guys are getting too easy. So I need some. I need some harder categories. You guys. You guys got. That's what happens. Okay. What you. size shoe does Tougher. all those people wear? <laughs> Eight and a half. Three, all right. No so. false questions. Jamie, it better okay. be hard. Where are you? Oh, I have to fling him anyway, so it doesn't matter, huh? No, it's going to be easy. Sorry. <laughs> are we all set? Yeah. Everybody's ready. Okay. Okay, because it was Rosh Hashanah just a couple of days ago. So many Yiddish words have entered the English language and are commonly used as slang, particularly in the American entertainment industry. So you're going to match the Yiddish terms with its English meanings. Oh, no. I'd like to switch to Leonard's team at this time. <laughs> <laughs> we got Alan. We got I'll, Alan. I'll, Alan would probably know these two. Maybe, maybe Ron. Yeah, yeah. yeah probably good. Zeke looks happy. He's going to know all of them. I'm glad she's on my team. <laughs> hey, hey, hold you on. You know what? Wendy will know him too. Yeah. I'll know a few. Okay. I didn't know that everyone didn't know Yiddish until I went to college. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously? Oh, you I, I saw people walking. Tell me, let me tell you, I was in LA and there was men walking with these things, ring things, and it had black hats and these black yeah. things in hot weather. And I freaked out. I was like, oh my God, are they from a TV show or something? Look, they're real. No. Like those people you see on TV. Or you, you were on Fairfax. Yeah. I don't know where I was, but I was like, I, I didn't know they really existed. I thought it was a TV thing. Oh, Had no. you not been out of your own city before? Yeah, I have, but not, I never noticed it in LA. Oh, and I've not really been to New York. I mean, not oh, in no. the city. Oh, I see them in Palo Alto, too. Really? Yeah, I had not. And it was only a few years ago, so I'm, I'm kind of embarrassed. I'll, I'll, I'll bring you by the right spot in Palo Alto. You can see. No, we can, point? We can Please, make you, can, you can gawk. Come on, Bob's chickens need to go to sleep. All right. Okay. Okay, come on, Jamie. I'm trying. Um, I don't know why, but the, the numbers and letters aren't coming up. You have to number, the, oh, I don't know why it's not pasting properly. That won't copy the numbers. What are you, what are you pasting it from? Um, I actually did it on email intentionally, so it doesn't oh. format. So hold on. So now I have to do the silly numbers. Sorry. Sorry. I don't know why because, because everything always pastes perfectly. It looks perfectly fine on my computer. I take it back. Doing... Talk amongst yourselves. Sorry about that. Okay, oh, if no. Dallas was number one, who's the number two most successful franchise? So you know what? We should just start Yankees. coming up with the most successful. Most no, not the most successful. Not the most it's successful. not successful. It's the most valuable. The most valuable. Yeah, the most valuable. LA. LA. Patriots. Patriots. No, France. the Patriots. Number two. Really? Yeah. Yes. Oh, wow. The Patriots for football? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Then the Rams. The NFL teams are just worth more than Haven't any NFL they lost team any of their titles team. because of their cheating? You don't lose it for... They, they got they didn't get caught until I think that was the, the Astros. Title. Yeah, the Patriots the totally cheated by underinflating the ball. That's not the only time they cheated. <laughs> That's the only Many thing. Not, not the only thing they did, probably either. Many. Times. I think they should ban them all. We should just ban. They, they secretly videotaped the Rams pregame walkthrough 
Um, Make uh, them all stand in the corner. All you guys are jealous because we won so many titles in Boston area. So you you were you were intimately involved personally there. We yep. Mr. Yep. Steve Miller. <laughs> yep. Well, it's he easy is to a, win when you cheat. You are quite a joker. Yeah, yeah. yeah. both teams cheat. Who's the better at it? Cheating, cheating. <laughs> Cheater, the cheater. Red Sox cheated, right? They did? Oh, did of course they? they did. They were reading signals and they were banging trash cans to give well, the I thought that was the Astros. Astros. That's just part the of the Astros and the Red Sox did it. They did the same kind of cheating? That's I just think, part I don't, of the They game might have been something thing. slightly different. The Red Sox well, got look at, look at in chess. The manager got anal got beads vibrating with your youth. Yeah. yeah, that was the chess <laughs> team. Yeah, guys. What's wrong with reading signals? Yeah, really? That's how we broke the Enigma machine. Exactly. There you go. All's fair in love, war, and all part of the game. They're going to make the signal oh, here, come. Come. Easy to see. here they come. Okay. Here they come. Oh, here we are. We got them. We got them. Okay. We can just I, don't know why. I don't know why I'm having a hard time. I never had a hard time pasting. The third one. Okay. I don't know if this is a clue. Oh, there it is. Yeah, there was no C. A pirate's okay, so favorite letter. Okay, A, B, C. C is your favorite letter? No, it's a pirate's favorite letter. C? R. You got to sing it, Jamie. R. A, B, C. E, F, okay, so, um, so match the, the Yiddish term to the English translation. Okay. One, one through 10, there's um, 12 answers, but 10 questions. Okay, we can do this. Got and that? I need people to volunteer for next round, mm -hmm. uh, next week. So don't go. Oy vey. Wait, wait grammar, <laughs> gram, grammar problem to be a grammar pest here. B, what is uh, someone with who, who is annoying? Who annoying? It's great. Uh, yeah, someone who, who is annoying. Annoying no, they're money. Annoying money. annoying money. Someone who annoying money. They're annoying no, money. There should be a C in front of, <laughs> there should be a yeah. C in front of money. You can do it, Rob. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my question. The end of I B couldn't... says someone who annoying. Someone who is someone who is annoying. Yes, yeah, someone who asks questions when things are completely obvious. <sighs> exactly. Nice. So B is... <laughs> he always yeah. says it right before but... we go to the room. <sighs> right. So B is a pest or someone who is annoying. Yeah, I got being it. a pest, someone who's annoying. Yeah, it's very clear. I can do it. Someone, yeah, someone who keeps asking. I'm going questions. to my room. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> Uh, I believe H. I think Hello, that would be H. I'm here H. to give no help at yeah. all. That sounds good. All right. Uh, when you futz around, you sort of um, uh, futz, genius, carry, from uh, idle, waste time. Futz. I think I just for now put down J for enough. Yeah, that time. sounds right to me. When right. You say futz around, you're wasting time. Kvetch, yeah. you're complaining. So oh, I know that one. That's uh, G. Now, a uh, would be yes, you're, uh, you're right about uh, Nudnik. Uh, Tush is the backside, yes. I, oh. I, Yutz. Yeah, what I wasn't sure if Yutz, because Yutz isn't that kind of similar to, to Nudnik. Or, yeah, or so no. we got to figure out which one's going to no, be. No, there's something oh. missing, I think, isn't it? Because I have clueless person that I wrote down from the clues. Yeah, I copied everything. I'll have to go look and see if I missed it. Yeah, that. D is clueless, foolish individual. Yeah, I got D up for Nudnik. Oh, okay. I'm moving well, them. Yes, if not that. Well, I'm not sure that that is necessarily what a Nudnik is. So, uh, uh, pest, uh, 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 a B is a Nudnik. Well, okay. what Klutz we've got right there is 10. Yeah, B is better for Nudnik, I think. And Yutz, I think, isn't Yutz a clueless idiot? Uh, yeah. Sure, uh, yes. oh, no, no. I, 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 hang on a second. Um, oh, okay, hang on. Let, let's go. I want to get the ones I, I know. Klutz is going to be, uh, Klutz is the is is a, a clumsy person. Was that I? Yeah. All right. Klutz is. Yeah, a, let's is, narrow it down. I had no idea that was a Jewish phrase. I thought we just called everybody Klutz. Um, no, a, a, a gelt is a gelt should be money. Uh, well, not yeah. sure it is. A gelt is money. You get your Hanukkah gelt even. Okay. And, and, uh, yeah. All right. Gelt, um, right? Yeah. Yeah. A, 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 a drek, uh, a drek is uh, garbage, garbage, something worthless. Uh, L. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, there's so extras, we, right? There's extras. Yeah. So schlep so, is to carry. Oh, schlep is yes. Yeah, it's you it's schlep it's something. Yep, yep, yep. Good call there. Yeah, because I even know that one. Most of these I kind of have. A yeah, nice. these yeah, are not all that. So many I like I'm, I'm going to work for my week. So my here's wife. the question. I'm my wife Schlepper this weekend. I'm going to go schlep all our so stuff. So yes. it looks like we're deciding between one of them's going to be be a pest. So is it no, which one's the clueless person and which one's the pest? Oh, okay. Hang on a second. What are the two? Uh, what are the two choices? Nudnik or Yutz? Um, I'm thinking that a Nudnik is one who gets into trouble. So that would be the pest. Uh, okay. I, I'm, I'm gonna. I I think that's the way it would be. Okay, and so then, we think we should move D to here, right? And, the, and then the we'll Yutz is a clueless, foolish. Yeah, because you say yeah, because you've called some what a yachts. You know, he he drops everything. He does, you know. Okay, that makes you know, sense. So, so, and I think, and uh, I nudnik, I nudnik, you're getting into trouble. You know, yeah, I nudnik, you should do yeah, that's what you want. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Yeah, it's okay. important to have the accent. So did you did you uh, learn all this language? I mean, could you speak? Nah, it? no, it was really funny because I, I was in like a confirmation class uh, at Hebrew school and we had the rabbi teaching us and he said, well, <laughs> guys, how would you like, would you guys be interested in learning some Yiddish? Oh, sure. So Heck yeah, great. man. That's probably the favorite. Yeah. Time. So I think, okay, we'll learn a little Yiddish, you know, and so I went home, I figured my dad my, and my dad and my grandfather and my grandfather and my mom used to always speak like English, it's called English, you know, kind of cross between English yeah. and Yiddish. They would always yeah, talk and, 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 and I figured they'd all be really excited. So I told him, hey, guess what? I'm going to learn Yiddish. So my father turns around and he goes, what do you want to learn a Nazi language like that? So that took care of that. And then my grandfather, who wow. always spoke Yiddish, goes, what a, what a waste of time. That was it. That was the end of my interest in learning Yiddish. <laughs> wow. Yiddish so, is so, a Jewish, so is, a guy is a wants Jewish to, language. A guy, hang on. There's a guy. He's got a dog. And he wants to, he wants these guys teaching him some tricks. So he calls his neighbor and he says, Hey, I want you to, I want you to see what my dog can do. My dog is, my dog's name is, uh, my dog's name is Irving, Irving the dog, Irving the dog. So, you know, so Irving's sitting on the couch. He says, you know, so he goes, he gets his new, the newspaper and he throws it. And he says, Irving, go, Irving. Did the accent. Go, go, go fetch. Irving jumps off the uh, couch, sits down and goes, Oi, my back is hiding me and my neck. Oh, you don't know. Oh, and I, I say it, my tail goes back and forth. What does that mean? Come back. They, they go and they take I they get it. Out to do my business on the front line. Oh, I said, gross. What, what is this thing? It's a, it's a disgrace. And they, they, the, what the food they give me, this is food. It's horrible. And you know who you sound like to me, oh, Alan. Hang on. So, so they, okay. so the friend, the friend guy, the friend says, "Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> your, your dog Irving can talk." And the guy says, "Nah, I don't think he's so smart. He thought I said go fetch." Uh, <laughs> All right, fetch. That's funny. Okay, yes. All right. Um, yes. You sound like yogurt from uh, Spaceballs. <laughs> I want to know why they called it. A, they said it was a Nazi language, isn't it? Just. Jewish? No, uh, oh. y Yiddish is an am amalgamation of a whole bunch of different languages, Eastern European languages from wherever wherever the Jews were thrown out. They kept getting thrown out of countries and they kept bouncing around. So it's when you look at the print, it's very similar to Hebrew, but and there's some some words that are are similar. But it's 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 uh, to a lot of people. This is why when they founded the state of Israel, one of the things they almost almost pretty much the, the early Zionists pretty much banned. Yiddish. You don't speak Yiddish. They actually developed a modern version of Hebrew uh, because to, to the to the early Zionists, uh, Yiddish was a sign of of the ghetto. And that was the language oh, of the yeah. ghetto. And so they it would be like school. learning some sort of like, like it's like German. It's close to German. It's very much. Well, this is my, my dad. Uh, we were uh, we when I was working in Israel and they they came to visit. We went to visit uh, uh, my dad's cousin he hadn't seen in like sixty years from Hungary and but she, or wherever she was from or she was from uh, Austria or something like that. And uh, she spoke Hebrew but didn't speak English and she spoke German. My dad didn't speak Hebrew but he knew some Yiddish. 
uh, he could and a little bit of German that he'd remember. And then, you know, my mom remembered a little bit of Yiddish. I didn't know anything. And so they were able to, to kind of communicate like that. And um, uh, so you could get by, you could go in Germany and you could use the Yiddish and they would sort of know what you're talking about, but they'd also know that it's uh, it's it's not German. You know, but oh, uh, interesting. So, so your family wasn't raised learning Yiddish. No, no, they no. Knew. You know, no. That the uh, the uh, just my you know because my my grand my maternal grandparents were from Russia, but when they came over, they spoke. They were speaking the they were speaking a lot of Yiddish. So my mother and her sisters would speak uh, to to my grandparents. You know, often in 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 this. English, you know, cross between Yiddish and English, but we they never we we never learned it, you know. So then, so why don't you know. stop sharing so we can can watch Alan move his hands fully? <laughs> <laughs> This was a fun category. I like it. That was fun, but it was a great. lot easier than I thought because I had no idea that there was so many um words. I mean, like I knew schlep. I didn't know klutz. I didn't know klutz was a. I always thought that was just a word. Word. Yeah, right, no. There's Jamie? there's a whole there's a whole okay. bunch of words that uh, we did good. Yeah. yeah. Alan, and we and we heard some jokes and stuff. You'll have to watch a video later. Yep. Alan, Alan, Alan told Alan a really good story. It's tush German, a German um, word. Well, the Yiddish is like tuchus. But in English, like it, if you've ever seen the Frisco Kid, you know with uh, Gene Wilder and the and, Frisco Kid, but and, and, he, and he and he keeps calling it. So uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, Luke Skywalk, not uh, what not not uh, Han Solo. What's his name? Um, the actor. What's the actor? Name? Harrison Ford. Harrison Ford. Harrison Ford. It's a great movie. You should watch it. The characters and that thing. But he's always talking about the my my tuchus hurts or something. My yeah. tuchus, you know. But uh, yeah. There's um yeah do we do we have a couple of minutes? I think most people are done. Okay, tell us really well. Do you want to wait until the get to the main screen? Get to yeah. the main screen. Uh, I got let's, I got, let's a, tell everybody. I got, I got one. I'll I'll yeah. tell you. Yes. Okay, yeah. to, go to the main okay. screen and tell us. Hold on. Okay. Everybody leave the room. All right. Okay. Okay. Bye. bye. Now you can tell us. Not yet. We should wait for more people to show up. Wait for everyone. Well, it's 47 seconds. Do I have anybody here who wants to do a category next week? I already have. I always have one on hand. So I, I just don't want to be pushy and let somebody else do it because Alan hasn't done one, I think, ever, maybe once. Today, he could have done this category. Yeah. He could have done this. Is Alan here? Alan, you're on mute. Talking with his hands on mute. Oh, I couldn't see it. <laughs> some point. I'll Absolutely. think about it, but you know what? Uh, excuse me. Talk who down in the in my thing, he's down in the corner. Talk to my baby brother. He hasn't done one yet. Well, have you done one, Alan? Yes, I did. Playing for two years. I Alan did one. did one. I did one. Oh, one a year. <laughs> Alan, you oh, could just yeah. give that again and we won't remember it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you could do a mathematic one sent from Avi. Yeah, I really. So oh, please no. Oh, that was that was horrible. So has, has anyone done a computer one yet? No. Yes, no. I did one on the keyboard. Rob and Peggy have volunteered for next week. Is anybody else like saying, "Oh, I'm doing it"? Anybody look and see? I did one on the keys of the keyboard once in a mystery theme. Oh, oh yeah. Kyle's hand went up. Did I see okay. Kyle's hand go up? I've got I've got two in my. Okay, Robin's gonna do one. In your bra? <laughs> somewhere. That's what you just showed somewhere. Us. In her lady it. parts. <laughs> her lady part. Okay, Robin's doing one. Who else? I have to get to you guys before you disappear on me. Who's talking in the background? Because they're gonna get volunteered in a minute. I would like I would do it, but everybody has to be. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Everybody I've has got to an be idea. Nice to me, but... Susan, yes. I've got an idea, and if I commit to do it, then that'll pressure me. Bob's to got it. Okay, so I need a bonus. Okay. No, no not, not Bob. Again. You want a bonus or you want a category? No, 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 no. It's a regular category. Okay, so who hasn't done a bonus before? 
Ever? Yeah. I can't stay up that late. <laughs> yeah. Give you bonus first. He's up that late right now. Living together the bonus round for what next? That's blasphemy. Yep. Ron, we bonus. could do bonus first. It wouldn't kill us. So well, there'll be a there'll be a schism. I can't tell you how many bonus rounds I've worked on that ended up there only were like eight possible answers for. Oh. That's why you come up with a true or false. <laughs> 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 and just reword one of the questions. I used to do this. Well, I, I I have a bonus ready, so I could do that instead of a category if someone else wants to do a category. Okay, who wants to do a category? Didn't I hear Ron say he couldn't stay up late? So that means now we have one. a category open? Do a round one, Ron. Ron? I, I have to figure one out in the next week and get okay, it vetted all right. by the Ron's team. up. You're number two next week. All right. So, so how do, who do I vet it with? Who's not going to be here next week? Ron, you, don't have, you don't have to vet it if you don't want to. The vetting, you, feel, you know yeah. the rules oh. now. You'll be all right. You, play play enough, you could Ron, have, have you Alan do it, and he'll forget by next week. <laughs> <laughs> I could do it during the thing with Alan, and he'd send forget it, it. Send it to Avi. Send it to Avi. No, that's true. I could probably there do that. There you go. Just the vetting program is been largely disappointing no the they've experience. done really well they eight. fixed they fixed a lot it's just some things get left over <laughs> okay imagine so how bad it would be if we didn't have it Seriously. all right I, I i will come up with something for next week thank you maybe vetted maybe not we'll see okay there you go we've got it now okay all right so jamie what you got well said so, okay um the answer number one chutzpah chutzpah means H, one H, impudence or shameless audacity. <clears throat> Number two, futz. If you futz around, that means you're wasting a lot of time. So futz two is J, idle or waste time. Three, kvetch. That means you complain a lot. Three is G, to complain. Number four, schlep. You schlep is, things around. That Say that again. Was that B, kvetch is B? Um, catch three is G. G is in golf. Golf. G is in gopher. Wait a minute, catch. Yeah. Gopher. Catch. Right yeah, three is G. Catch means you complain a lot, which is G. What did I? Where did? Okay. That's so. That's what we have. Yeah, that's what we ended up oh. with. Okay. At, uh, four says schlep is to carry something around. So four is E. Five. If you are dunek. That means you're a pest, you're annoying, which is I B. Hmm. I was so wrong. Good job, five, five is B. Six, your tush is your backside. Six, which is F. Is that is that butt? But your butt. You call it a backside. You call it a backside, but gluteus maximus. Yeah. So that's just part of it. Seven, if you're a total yutz. Seven, that means you're clueless, you're a foolish individual. You're stupid. Yeah, you're such a yutz. Eight is direct. Direct means garbage. Direct means shit. Shit. Yeah, yeah but people say that. Garbage. They're well, garbage, something, something of no value at all. It's like, it, 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 it means feces. Does it? It means shit. Say the yeah. letter. Garbage, something of no value at all. Say the uh, letter. Number nine. nine Say the letter. L. L. Eight okay. L. Okay. Nine Stop. is guilt. Nine is C, which is, means money. Cash. And ten, if you're a klutz, that's I. Ten I, which is you're clumsy. A clumsy person is a klutz. Okay. That was fun. I had no idea. That was really okay. nice. I led my I my, um, my, my team astray. I like your background. Okay, Alan, Alan, before we do the score, tell us, tell us, Alan. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Take a minute or two. Here you go. Okay. So okay. The, the the Pope is hanging around in the in the um in the uh in, in the um St. Peter's um uh, and uh, uh, uh cardinals come up to him and says, Pope, Pope, we just figured out. That you know, there's a whole lot of Jews in Rome, and we think you ought to throw them out. 
And the Pope says, I can't just go and throw the Jews out. He says, ah, but we have an idea. You happen to be the world's greatest, the world's foremost pantomimic theologian. Why don't you challenge the Jews to come up and have, pick someone to compete with you in a pan pantomimic theological debate? Of course, you're, and if they if you win, they stay. Uh, if if you win, they go. If they win, they get to stay. So so the Pope says, well, that's that's fair enough. Okay, we'll do that. So it's set up. They're going to have this great event, and they're going to invite dignitaries from all over the world to come here the world's press everybody's going to come they're going they're all going to come to to the vatican and they're going to go and it's going to take place live on live television worldwide in 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 not even the sistine chapel they're going to be in the chapel that you know, no one even knew about that's deep in the in the bowels of the of the vatican and the night comes and everybody's coming then the limousines and the shahs and the sheiks and the shans everybody's coming and they're ta taking their seats in this gorgeous fabulous hall and in the middle of the uh, middle of the room there's just this little simple little table and everybody's waiting with bated breath for the for the entrance of the of the combatants well the jews had to find somebody so they're going well who who can compete with the pope he's the world's greatest pantomimic theologian well they all turn around to look at little Moisha. Moisha, why don't you do it? Me, why? Just go, you debate. Okay, so I will debate the Pope in a pantomimic theological debate. So he comes in. So then in the, that evening, the, the, the great doors, after great anticipation, the doors at the end of the hall open up and out walks little timid little Moshe and he scurries up to the to you know he's wearing his fur hat with the with the with the curls you know and the long black uh, uh, robe and and he comes out and he's standing by the table and he's waiting finally in walk all the cardinals take take their place in the front rows and they're beautiful and their crimson gowns and caps and then finally in comes the the pope and he walks majestically to the center of the hall it's it's absolutely imperious the way he the way he work, uh, works his way up to that table and he stands opposite Moshe. They look at each other. The debate begins. The Pope begins. The Pope goes. So Moshe goes. Well, the Pope grits his teeth and he glares at him and he goes and Moisha responds with well, well then the Pope reaches under his robes and he pulls out an apple and he shows it to Moisha and I forgot the rest of the joke Uh, um, um, um. <laughs> God, that the damn joke? it! Save it again! Okay. I don't knew it. Ah, mm -hmm. Damn it! it was, and it's a good joke too. Oh, and this yeah, was and it. this was an original dad joke. Is, is that the joke that you? Oh, no, no, I got this wrong. I, I, so was this a joke or a Shaggy Dog story? Well, he's uh, well, no, my no, brother okay. is becoming I mean, senile. So the Pope, so the Pope, okay, the Pope here's the end. He points at, at the po and he points to the to the sky, uh, and uh, and he and then he reaches in and he pulls out a wafer and he shows it to Moisha, and Moisha reaches into his bag and he pulls out an apple. There you go. Well. <laughs> The Pope can't believe it and is sh totally shocked and goes storming out of the hall. <laughs> everybody is everybody is aghast. All the cardinals go chasing after the Pope. Pope, Pope, we don't understand what happened. This was way above our heads. We don't understand at all what was going on in this debate. Well, the Pope says, well, for starters, I, I said, okay, I want you Jews to get out of Rome. And Moisha responded, we're staying right here. Then I said, we'll give you to three o'clock to get out of Rome. And then Moisha said, not one of us is leaving. And then I showed him the host, the body and the body of Jesus Christ. And he reached into his, his pocket and he pulled out an apple and he, he showed me signifying original sin. How could I compete by, with a, a theological, pantomimic theological genius like that? It was impossible. Well, back in the, back in the shtetl, the, the, the Jews get together with it. Moshe, 
what happened? We don't understand what went on. So he goes, well, I don't know. The Pope comes in and he says, I want you to get the hell out of Rome. And I said, not one of us is leaving. Then he goes, I'll give you till three o'clock to get out of here. And I said, no, we're not going no place. And then finally he goes, he reaches in and he pulls out his lunch and he shows it to me. So I pulled out the apple, I showed him my lunch and he goes running out. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> he, he did it wrong. When the Pope thought he was saying three as in the three, Trinity. Was the, the Trinity, the Holy, it was the Holy And Moshe Trinity. was saying one as in the one God. That was the Pope's interrupt. Inter, 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 oh, that's great. Of it. I love yeah, these I, people. I, I, you I, guys I, are just I great. Haven't, I, haven't, I haven't told that joke in a long time. So I, I love it. And, and, and one more. Yeah. I, I mentioned this in my group, but any of you here have heard of the draft uh, uh, laundry detergent? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Well, when they originally brought it out, they were going to call it Drek. <laughs> <laughs> Until somebody kind of pointed out that yeah, may right. not be the best name for a laundry detergent. <laughs> and they quickly came up with dra yeah. a Drek. That's like the yeah. Chevy Nova. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> right. No, what is oh, Chevy Nova? Yeah. It may be apocryphal, but it sounds great. <laughs> Nova, yeah. Nova in Spanish means doesn't go. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. No go. So <laughs> the Chevy, the Chevy, Chevy tried to introduce the Nova in South America, and it was a flop. <laughs> okay, very good. The salacious story. sound of succulent sausages. What you got? Oh. Eight. 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 Do you know what? Let the one of the boys talk about it because I screwed up the the score. I mixed up two words. What do you okay. say? Eight. 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 Okay. Okay, enjoy that lead for the moment. Gatsby and Carl, Wendy and Vincent. Uh, let's go, Jackie, are you here? Oh, that's us, 10. Oy vey. Okay, <laughs> let's go with Putin. Have you considered annexing the Petersburg, Florida? <laughs> I get it now. I get it. It took me a while. 10. 10? Okay, when Russia panics, it will annex. Ten. Would it be a three or four way tie? Mm -hmm. Let's find out. Curse you! Spence is killing me. Which one? Oh, Eight. 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 Oh. Three way tie. Really? With wow. Leonard, eight? Wow. Yeah, wow. you get one wrong, you get two wrong, so. We yep. got it right. Wow. So we, got it, we got it right. What? What? It's too, yeah, late. It's too late. Is it eight? No, it's no. 10. Who? Again, we got it right. We got B. No, you put B, you, you did them backwards. You didn't say yes was the stupid person. You said it was the foolish person. I said it was a stupid person. Foolish, <laughs> <laughs> stupid, what's the score? No. The, the, we got 10. We got it right. You sure? Lundnik is, yeah. Lundnik is annoying. There was no stupid and, person question. It was, it was clueless or a clumsy. Those are the only two people just Yeah, a clueless yeah, yeah, clue yeah. person is a stupid person. Was no. it the Yats oh. and the Nudnik? Yeah, yeah. You said for five. <laughs> for five. Clueless. Your your what what you had on the screen was completely illegible. It was this this scroll. But you told me. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm Twitter sorry. You've all been disqualified. We got it right. Yeah, come on. Go for the three. Hey, hey, hey! You got, got the game, guys. Give it. Give it. I don't know if it would. It would. Cindy, I appreciate your honesty. Those guys. Guys. Give it, <laughs> give it to guys, give it to Peters. Guys, that's come right. on, give it to, give it to them. Bob needs a win. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I kept when Jamie stopped saying the letter, I said say the letter because he, he was doing it and then he stopped and I said say the letter, say the letter. So I I'm right against the letter. I'm sure you guys got it. So Susan. We did. Yes. I always take a picture of the final screen. You took it down before the controversy was over. I'm not even sure what the answer was. Who won? 
They did. Yeah. We did. We got it. We the got, curse we you got Ian. five B and seven D. It was close. Curse you, Ian. This was an incredibly close game. Yeah, it, this one right here. It's just this one round right ever. here. It was the one where um, who was it? What? Carl. Carl, it was Carl, 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 Carl tanked his team. Carl was in tanked last his place team. For the first time, probably he's ever been in last Fine. place. Remember that for oh, next yeah. week. Carl Tank's oh, team would be a really good name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, and, and the and the reason's obvious. Your name, your name is incomplete. It needs to be the salacious, it needs to be sizzling sausage. Oh. <laughs> the salacious sound of sizzling. Sausage. And on that note, well, I'm going to go because it's almost breakfast time for me. Good night, Billy. Sizzling <laughs> sausages. <laughs> so I'm out of here. Good night, Billy. Good, Good job, night, Billy. Good night, everyone. Bye, Billy. You may be right. Hey, I, I have an announcement for people who are still here. I just got the email. I will be talking at SciCon. Whoa. I'm going to have to talk to Ray about that. Yeah. <laughs> I, I will be listening okay. at SciCon. That'll be oh, and it's on the Great Australian Prediction Project. Ooh, I was there. I I've heard about that. That's a cool I, thing. I, I helped. I helped a little. I think maybe your we'll learn will be on the screen at some point. Maybe we'll learn something we'll about it too. You know, Leonard, we'll yeah. sit in the audience and heckle him. Should we heckle? <laughs> oh yeah, we should sit together and heckle him. All right, that's a good idea. I'm filming everything. I always film the Sunday papers because nobody uh, films the Sunday papers. So I was right in the front. And I can we'll... still heckle. <laughs> Is, so thought, is Richard Saunders coming? No. No, no unfortunately. He just October is just heckle in Yiddish. Heckle in Yiddish. Heckle in Yiddish. Much in travel already this year. So next You guys next, are great. Next Paul weekend. Paula going asleep. Paula, are you awake? She said she was falling asleep on me. He's tired. She's yeah, tired. I'm, I'm here. I, well, your roomies are here too. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. So, so next weekend is uh, when the um, wake is. So uh, not this anybody... next Thursday, but the the weekend. The, so the, you'll have one yes. more trivia game before. So one more trivia game. Anyone has anything? Just uh, send it my way. But okay. um, I should be good. I right. knew so yeah, Thank you for doing that, uh, Vincent. Thank, thanks again, Vincent. Who, yeah, who lives in Las Vegas? You're well tied. Right? Uh, Gail lives in Las Vegas. Gail lives Anyways, in Las Vegas. I, I have to go. So go. Uh, good, good night. night. Thanks for showing up. Good night, good night. Good night. Good night. Good night everyone. If I, night. Can't, if I can't make this thing in Vegas, what I'm thinking of doing is mailing some uh, coffee syrup to Gail, and then she can. You guys can break out a gallon of milk, and I'll have coffee milk. <laughs> And see what it tastes like. Oh, what? Coffee milk. Coffee milk. The Rhode Island Coffee drink milk. of the state of Rhode Island. Come on, Kevin, come you don't to even Vegas. live in Rhode Island. What? I don't. I live right near it. My town borders Rhode Island. It's not Rhode Island. You live it's Rhode Island. I live in Mass, but it borders Rhode Island. What is coffee milk? milk? It's oh, the don't... state drink of Rhode Island. It's it's just milk with coffee syrup in it. You you weren't here. very popular. You you it must have a, missed that that round of trivia. That round of trivia. Yeah. Yeah. Stay, drink of Rhode transition Island. from coffee with milk to milk with coffee. It's not that good. <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. James it just depends it. It just, what you pour just, in the glass milk, first. You know. syrup in it's it. okay. It's well, we're just gonna hope you're gonna find a way of getting the sign <laughs> on that. I I wish, but I don't know. It's a lot of money. Yeah, that's. Uh, I was gonna try and. Get you, but it was gonna be in, a lot of money. You're that close. <laughs> what me? That's a hell of a walk. You're in St. Now. Louis. Get started now. You are there. <laughs> yeah. Well, once I looked into the pricing, and and if I was taking my kid with me, it was gonna be quite a bit of money. Another so. hitchhike across the USA. It's a little pricey. We we probably <laughs> uh, Susan, me, you, and Deborah probably could have carpooled in my. Toyota Islander. No way. We need we need to go it's back like to a, those really cheap airfares. To Vegas again, it's like ever. an eight hour drive. I mean, oh, for, us, like for us from Salinas, if you're not from California, you probably don't know. We have to go all the way around the whole freaking mountain range. Whereas if we fly, we fly over the mountain range. Yeah, yeah I'm, no I'm driving. You're driving. Yeah, yep. talking Why? about driving. Spend, spending as little time in airplanes and airports as possible. There you oh. go. But you're gonna how, how long of a drive is it for you, Leonard? Oh, it's it, less than a day. Not bad. 15 hours or something. We're, um, but see, we're, we're flying out of Monterey, and flying out of Monterey is not a, a nightmare. It's a, 
it's nothing. It's a big probably expensive though. And if you can fly, and and if both ends were Monterey, it, that would be <laughs> that would be uh, relevant. But there's still uh, uh, McCarran in in Vegas. Yeah. Yeah. I just I just finalized my tickets. Actually, uh, I had them on hold for quite a few weeks, hoping the price would go down, but it went the wrong way. So anyway, I got the cheaper price. I booked it yesterday, and I just looked at the the, the note that came from United today, and it said you need to wear a mask. So this is did they change the rules back? No. I have no I'm, idea. I'm they driving. keep I don't need they, to wear they keep they keep car. changing. They've been they the, they uh, might it have doesn't matter changed. what the instructions say today. Wait until the day before, or yeah. and wear a mask anyway. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm not, so, it makes me feel better that everyone freaking should wear a mask. So yeah. it's just going to make me feel better going up to it. It's if just, that is the case. Yeah, and, it's a and mask. Wear a good mask. Rob. It's a mask a- and a full body condom. <laughs> <laughs> just like they put on the microphones in the, in the hurricane. Yeah. So in Oregon, in one week. We have gone from 811 cases to 4,553 cases. Wow. Yeah. Just cover yourself in Scotch Guard. It's so weird how I, I look at the statistics on um, Worldometer all the time. And there's, you know, it's been this way for months. Some places are going up, some places are going down. It's yep. just so weird. Yeah, yeah I'm wondering how many people are going to wear them because I'm going to have my mask on. I, I'm mostly around here, if I wear my mask, I'm the only one wearing a mask. And I'm wondering if that's going to be the case at Psycho. There's going to be very. Oh, yeah. I got a mask for every occasion. I have a Hawaiian one for the Hawaiian party. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> well, You're kind of done with the mask. Oh, Barry I'm, said I'm not wearing a mask. That Barry done. said that he had bought, they had gotten a thousand masks. But they're just those little hospital masks. They're not. Oh, yeah. I, I, I went for elective masks. surgery this morning. And, you know, they make you take your clothes off and they give you the hospital gown. They made me take my cane N95 mask off and gave me a freaking surgical mask. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Kidding, they, our hospitals do so the same thing. Oh, they the let me wear right my N95 mask. You, can put the, the you have to put the blue mask over the top of it. Or <laughs> yeah. whoever. I just make it yeah. at all. This is just stupid at this point now. It's just so dumb. It's like they've got some no, weird, mask they wearing. Is, is you should have fought the system, Rob. Yeah. I'm getting my COVID booster and my flu shot on Sunday. Very good. I got mine today. I had my flu shot yesterday. I, I, got, mean, mine, I, was yesterday. I got mine the day the, co- the new COVID booster became available. I got, I got, well, I got my, my flu now, shot, Carl? my COVID booster, my Tdap, and my shingles all on the same day. Oh, oh wow. Really? Oh, if, Carl, if, how boy, many was I miserable for two days. If Carl you turns out his lights, up. he'll glow right now. <laughs> Carl, I feel like I've been punched in two arms. Yeah. I got two shots in each arm. I Does like anybody have more than four today. COVID shots? Yeah. Yep. I have five. five. Yeah. You've had five. Five. Okay. I've, I've had, had I've five. had three plus COVID. I've had four plus COVID. I've had and two in COVID. I'm, and All right, I'm getting... if you count COVID, I've had six. <laughs> yeah, see, Bob. I don't know. It doesn't sound like it's working for you for somebody who's what? Being wearing masks and being so careful. You've had COVID twice. No, I've only had COVID once. Only once. I don't think I've January. ever had COVID. Unless we can I, give it to you. I'm sure we can find a way. Unless yeah. I had the asymptomatic COVID. No, yeah. you'll know it. I was so That's tired. You can have it asymptomatically. I barely okay. knew I had it. I had just the sniffles. And no, I don't see, know. I, yeah, I, it's, people I've never been COVID. so tired in my life. I was like, I just want to be in bed. None of that guarantees you won't have effects down the road. Yeah. Yeah, my sister got the fatigue type of COVID too, Ben. She said all she could do is sleep. I saw some preliminary uh, evidence that it actually uh, promotes Alzheimer's disease if you've had it. Yeah. You're such such a lovely conversation. Well, they're also saying that lack of good glasses that is if your vision goes and you don't get it corrected you can get alzheimer's it contributes what? to alzheimer's that's what they're saying that's like hello who's, who's there so, saying? covid All, the, also blood association of A-A-L-P. eyeglass prescribers you're making the point that i was going to make when you said they're saying that promotes alzheimer's yes aarp and theirs always just means the people who write the stuff 
<laughs> well, also, <laughs> it's a the telephone. <laughs> There's scientific studies that show a certain amount of data that's inconclusive, but well, you know, the people thing don't with... understand statistics. If we say, like, oh, yes, in it, we, we studied 100 people and, you know, there's a 1% chance of more Alzheimer's, but that's not really that I, I know. I didn't read the article, but I'm just saying, okay. hey, that's, that's the headline. But anyway, well, um, wanna, uh, what, I, what I've read... To to epidemiology. Yeah, but what I read is um, journalists or reporters usually publish the studies before they're actually finished or actually been verified or Reviewed. The pre reviewed, yeah. Pre prints get released. Yeah. yeah. So you get all this information and it's not the final information. It's not always correct. Well, if that's on the scientists to distribute it. I mean, as someone who works in news, reporters only report what they're told by what they get from if, press release. Someone who who's doing this, and I doubt most scientists were are gonna spill something out before they have their finished well no so if you listen what to the, like, the skeptics guide but they talk about this a lot prints. and there's 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 blame to go around on all sides yeah. Yeah. scientists the organization that the scientists work for yeah and then the press people everyone exaggerates it you know yeah. when, jamie not all the so, time I don't know. but when that happens you could have multiple hands in the pot making it sound better than it is it's yeah really unfortunate jamie but here, um, everyone, it's very odd. The government just a couple of days ago stopped the mandate for wearing masks. But the local population, all the ties, everyone wears masks outside no matter what. And the, yeah. the only people not wearing masks are the foreign, the Western tourists. Yeah, that's it. And it's tough because... Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but when you go I love out, that one. Yeah, I, I, mean... that. I like that. <laughs> But I don't know if you guys have this. I think you have this now in America. If you travel, do you have this? What is no, it? I've never seen that before. Called Tafix. Look on um, Amazon. I think it's on Amazon. I think Walmart has it oh. on, on Amazon. Is it, it homey, is it in the homey? Yeah, is it, is, yeah, it's probably in the homey. Uh, no, it's, it's, it's not homeopathic. Well, it's an Israeli powder, which is used um, that prevents the spread of COVID. Or the, you don't get COVID. It stops like like ninety seven percent effective. Not getting that can't COVID. Be. There is nothing that does that. Yeah, read about it. It's called Tafix. So it was developed in Israel, and it's available here. Everyone uses it here. And um, we looked on Amazon in the states, and I think I think it's sold now in the states. But it's all throughout Europe and all throughout Asia. That um, what it does, it oh, lines the hours. inside. Yeah, it lines the the inside of your your sinuses with a gel, a high pH, a low pH gel, and it prevents um, the COVID the virus from multiplying within the sinuses. And read it online. I think what, it's what if, it, what if you get it through your mouth. Well, the majority of virus multiplies in the sinuses, like colds and viruses. It's usually through your through the nose. So we wear masks all the time, and we use this. But as people are traveling, um, it's been quite effective. So it's sold here. I think it's, it's definitely in Europe. I think it's now available in America. But read about it. It's a very interesting Israeli so study. I'm looking at a PubMed article right now. And they're and the on Amazon. And the conclusion is Tafix could be, could be an additional tool against COVID-19 spread in addition to recommended safety measures. This is the first time a preventative measure of SARS-CoV-2 Beyond the use of masks has proved effective. That's interesting. Yeah. So we um, rather do you rather use that than a mask? No, we we do we do both. We'll never go out without a mask. We always wear masks, always. And it's tough for us because if we go socialize in areas which have a lot of tourists, you know, it's kind of awkward because we don't want to be around people without masks. Mm -hmm. And um, but all the locals wear masks, hundred percent. And I think that'll that'll continue. But I think between having a mask and using tactics. We haven't gotten COVID yet, so so far so good. But if, well, we, if everybody around well, you is always wearing masks, that also could mean why tourists. you're not getting COVID. Yeah. No, but it's the Western it's the Western tourists who don't wear masks. So, so if, if you go to a restaurant, if you're around every, if you've been very careful and you're always wearing masks, it doesn't mean that you're not getting it because of the the the, the needle spray. It could be because you're being very careful and you're yeah, of course, and you're of course. so. And we're paranoid. 
Um, <laughs> I don't know about that. All right, so yesterday. Oh, okay. Oh, I was just going to mention that yesterday morning I heard on NPR. So I don't know how much research was done before they talked about it. That people, there are people who can be immune from COVID. That is, they have a certain um, way their their cells interact with the virus that prevents certain viruses from actually penetrating the cell that gives you the right the part of the cell where you can get the virus where it can start it said about 10 percent have that hla yeah, yeah. they're saying there, and yeah. i think the washington post was doing an article on there's there's people who have not had covid and that's very interesting and we should understand why yeah and but, i don't think i've had it know. but you know they came out earlier and said hey you can get it but be a you can be asymptomatic you'll get it but you'll spread it if you get it oh, i know that's so it. symptoms Karen says she hasn't had it. But Karen's been Me either. I haven't had it. I'm starting Damn. to think it's not real. I haven't had real. it. It's not real. <laughs> not real. Okay. We, we, went, we went for a very long haven't time. Gotten it yet. You don't want it. I've, I've don't heard that proximity <laughs> proximity to parrots definitely staves it off. That's the secret. You know what? I, thought, um, I take a um, lot of pills. <laughs> that that for, uh -oh. Speaking of. A, a sort of... Um, <laughs> I just got it on. That <laughs> are supposed to keep me alive, but they have side effects. Mm -hmm. And one of them makes my nose run and makes me cough. And so I'm constantly apologizing to people and explaining <laughs> yeah. that I'm not sick. It's a side effect of medication. I'm but the problem is, is that you can have both. That's right. You can be coughing from your medication. That doesn't mean that you're not that you don't have COVID right. but, and because you're coughing, you're just spreading it out there. The cough I had when I had COVID was completely different from this annoying little cough that I have. There's no the way that you know, well, you that, know that you Mark, don't have both. Mark coughs all the time. He's got a horrible cough. He's got asthma, but he's always mm -hmm. had it. And it's always, it's, it's the same consistency. So like he, he's coughing I, I understand what wendy's saying you're not doing it more than normal like if you had covid and you're coughing oh yeah and that get out, more you serious, would see the difference yeah. because but you see frequency but of coughing. you still don't know if you're asymptomatic and yeah but and but she, would be doing more most people aren't around. coughing yeah but if wendy had symptoms i don't think she's going to be someone who's going to be asymptomatic it's she has the symptoms that you spread before you have you spread before you have symptoms. I was your most was having just two days before your symptoms. The cough mm -hmm. started in um, after I had the heart attack, and they started giving me a lot of different medications, and the and the I didn't have COVID until last month. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you haven't you haven't coughed once this whole night that I've heard. So so this is strange. While we've been on, I've been Googling the Tafik stuff and Amazon, which sells everything, including homeopathy and magic yeah. crystals, does not have it on it. And oh, it in fact, when I Google it, some of the hits say Amazon, but if I click them, they go to the Amazon site and there is no Tafik. So what the hell's up with that? This may not be approved to be sold over here. The United maybe States. Lot I, 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 see it on, I see it on my Amazon, Rob. Tafix nasal protective spray, 49 bucks what? on Amazon. What? What? On Amazon? It's just not oh, at yeah. your house, Rob. Your internet provider has blocked Rob it. got shadow banned. He did. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Rob. That's funny. Tafix All right, you guys. Okay. We should go. Well, okay. I want to Fine, follow then. this video Good and night, really for some of you. And I'm Good forcing night. you to go to sleep. It's great. Wait, to Susan, you don't have me down for next week, do you? For do you? No, because I didn't accidentally read. I just want to make sure I don't have any. Not this week, probably the following. Mike, you're always volunteering because your hands are always part of the problem. Is. Telling that does this not come up if I put it in the search it bar? It's you, Rob. It's a personal thing. Reviewing that claim. All right, guys. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.